Welcome everyone to another 40k battle report and the main reason you're here is Tom. Yeah, I'm back again. Yay! We've allowed him back just once. Yeah. That's it. No that's more. It. No more. That's it. Uh, and so Tom is once again bringing his Red Scorpions. Yeah. They're at 2,000 points, Ross. <laughs> Finally. <sighs> it's been a journey. It's been a good journey to watch. It has. And I have options as well, which is nice. Mm, so you've got over 2,000 points options to play with. Yeah. Nice. And I noticed you actually did bring the ATV. Yeah, I was debating last time whether to carry on using it. Mm. But... It looks cool. It looks cool. I like it. It, it's, it has served a purpose. It's a distraction unit for 85 points. You can piss it up the board and don't care. Mm -hmm. So we'll stick with that logic for now until... I can find something else to fit in its place. Plus the noises you make when you move it across the table. Mario Kart now. Mm -hmm. All day long. Uh, right, so I've got a battalion again. They're going to be ultramarines because I'm keeping it simple. That's what I know. So that makes ultramarines. sense for my as well. So everything inheritors of the Primark, so it is ultramarines. There's no different bits and bobs on it. It is ultramarines. Just red scorpions. So, HQs, I've got the trio. Mm -hmm. Is a must. Is a must. Red scorpion characters. Severin Loth, he's just good against Psychic. Four up and vulnerable save, bit of a beat stick, which is nice. Uh, Chief Librarian as well, so happy days with that. With him, he has uh, Might of Heroes, Null Zone, and Psychic Fortress because. No I don't like invulnerable saves, but I like to give invulnerable saves. Yes, yeah. Uh, and so, I'm playing Tyranids, and Tom yeah. knows I'm going to be bringing zone throws because yeah. I always bring zone throws. I hate the things. Three up invulnerable save. Uh, for now. For now, it's got to change. Oh, yeah. They did it with uh, Wraiths for Krons, didn't they? Hmm. So it's got to be the same for them. It wouldn't be fair. No, it wouldn't. Uh, the Sound Saviors, Chapter Master. He's so good. Mm -hmm. That plus one attack that he brings is just nice, especially on power fists. And you re-roll in them power fists as well. It's all good. I like it. Um, and then the mighty Carob Cullen. Who is so good for his points. So good. How many points is he? 265 points of Leviathan goodness. Three Hunter Killer missiles. Twin Auto Cannon. And just is... What's it? It's, it's claw thing. Which has got a weapon inside of it as well, isn't it? Heavy bolter. Heavy bolter. Which I keep forgetting about. It's not a storm bolter like most of us. No, it's, it's actually a heavy, heavy bolter. bolter. Which you can shoot in combat without penalty. Yeah, because that big fist in your face. And yeah. yeah. Um, the Tarsus Scorpi is claws called. Mm -hmm. Full damage. That's nice. It is nice. It is nice. Nice. And moist. I haven't said moist yet. It's too long into it and I've not said it. We'll edit it out. No. No. <laughs> Troops choices. Intercessor squad. Mm -hmm. uh, they got the rapid fire normal shenanigans. Heavy inter intercessor squad. I've given them the rapid fire last time and they're modelled with the heavy ones but I'm giving them rapid fire mm -hmm. being ultramarines. It's nice to have that double tap even when moving and stuff. So mm -hmm. done that. In cursors, I was debating whether dropping them as well as the ATV to bring in the Terminator squad that I've got, but I wanted Obsec, so I brought them along. So that's my troops. Elites. I've got a lot of elites today. Mm -hmm. I've, mm -hmm. Well, I've maxed out my elites. It's six. I've got six elites. So that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It is legal. It is legal. It is legal. Yeah. I've got aggressors, because I love aggressors, Power Fist and Daka. Mm. Lots of Daka. Mm -hmm. uh, Company Ancient, I've not upgraded him to Chapter Ancient this time because of points. I would have done just to keep it fluffy because he is Sarai Karagon, mm -hmm. the mighty. So he's got a Power Sword and he's also got a Relic. Dun dun dun. Standard on my crag, so you get plus one to his attack. Well, to attacks for core around him in a six inch bubble. And he passes like morale, anything passes morale as well, which is all right. Mm -hmm. But I've got small units. 
to be able to yeah, happen. plus one leadership to everything as well because it's ultramarines so I can't see morale being an issue I don't think I, oh I've also given him a warlord trait as well I paid a CP to do that okay um, what's it called it's the ultramarine adept of the codex so spend CP roll of five you get it back yeah. just one that's great so it's just a harvest thing in it so that's fine I'll try to remind you that because yeah I'm going to forget it there's no it's doubt gonna it's, it's going to yeah, happen I've, I've not used it that often really seeing that it's there that mm. it costs a CP to do it I've not never really, used it for no. angels it's worth doing which nids had better relics yeah I really do uh, resonance bar pro- pretty much happens all the time but if we could farm CP back that'd be wonderful mm. or anything I think we've got like four options for relics None of them are all that. No, this is a Warlord trait. It's a Warlord trait. Warlord trait. The same rules apply. I don't think the Warlord traits are that great. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, Ultramarine specific one. It's not in the um, Space Marine book. So, which is nice. Ultramarines are good. I like my Ultramarines. And then the Apothecary. Yes. Primaris Apothecary. He is my Warlord. And he has the Warlord trait Selfless Healer. Mm, why wouldn't you? Yeah, no it was so good last time, wasn't it? <sighs> oh, I love it. <laughs> and it's fluffy as well because it's red scorpions. They're all about their purity and stuff like that. I was trying so, to snipe him out last time and my blood angels didn't happen. There's yeah. no sniping with nids. Because of that game, I actually contemplated making um, company, company veterans because mm-hmm. they got the bodyguard rule, aren't they? Yes. Just for him, just to keep him alive against snipers and stuff like that. On paper, that, that those snipers should have taken him out. Should have done, yeah. Should have. But there's a lot <laughs> out there now, like death marks and stuff like that. There's mm. a lot of character sniping about. So mm. it's, it, I think it might be worthwhile in the future doing that. Because he is pretty valuable for his points as well. It's just really good. Five up in vulnerable, uh, feel no pain. No, six up, feel no pain. No. Does that mean you can take the Ultramarines? Shield guys that can. No, well, Vitrix, no. No, that is just for the. Ultramarines. Ultramarines, yeah. Not technically Ultramarines until they're on the table, then they're Ultramarines. Yeah. Okay. That's a shame. Because that's a thing with Kalga and Bobby G, and it. it's like with Kalga, they don't take up a slot, they just. You can just put them in. Yeah. You still pay the points, but they don't take up a slot in your elites. Yeah, if they're free, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's got selfish healer, and I've also given him a relic. I paid a CP for the company ancient relic, and he's got the relic seal of oath. Okay. Which is another ultramarines one, and basically at the start of the game you can pick an enemy model, and anything within six inches of him can reroll hit rolls and wound rolls until that model is dead. That's good. That is good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> for a. Well, no, I didn't spend a CP. That is his relic, so... It's, yeah. It's a reward to get one yeah. for free. That's, that's great. Mm, I'm happy with that. Just hopefully he deletes one thing. It is. Well, that's it. As soon as that one thing's dead, that's it. It's, it's finished with. But it's worth it, because you know you've got that guaranteed re-rolls in. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're not running chapter masses. What and will stuff he like be that. picking? I don't know, because there's too many options. I'm, I'm scared. I am literally scared. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but the big things that you're scared about, that's what you brought these guys, right? Yeah, I'll get to them in a minute. I've still got elites plus. I'm only halfway there. God damn. Yeah. Right, Stone Guard Vets. They didn't do too well last time I used them. They didn't do a right lot. But They've gone away. They're a speed bump. Yeah, but... Hopefully they do a bit better this time. They've all got combi plasmas except for one which has a combi melter. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're, one of them's got a plasma gun, but I'm not paying 10 points. Same as last time, I'm not paying 10 points for a plasma gun when a combi plasma is 5 points. I think that must have been a mistake. It's stupid. Yeah, unless we're missing something. Yeah, but it's a combi plasma. And then I have two... Venerable Dreadnoughts. Two. I did say I was going to bring Dreadnoughts to the list. Two. Yes, yes, yes. I was debating one, but I said two instead. Mm-hmm. And Dreadnoughts are in a really good place at the moment. They are very good. Minus one damage, which he has as well. It's good. 
Uh, they're both identical. Uh, Storm Bolt was on their mm -hmm. fistings, and um, the Heavy Plasma Cannon, which has Blast. Which is nice. Which is nice. Which is nice. Plus, if you overcharge, it's just a mortal wound in it. They don't die. No. Which is good. Yes. I should. I that's, need a tech marine. That's what should be on Hellblasters. Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 Unless it's my Hellblasters. <laughs> Hellblasters can go to hell. Hey. 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 <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got them too. I've not used them before. I painted them slightly different, so I know which one's which. One of them is modelled with a flamer, but I didn't have points for the flamer, so he's got a storm bowler. So that's that's the elites. Fast attack. <laughs> ATV with the multi melter. He's he's all right. Yeah. Eighty five points. I don't think I've actually damaged anything with that melter. Really unlucky with the melter so far. Yeah. Bit really unlucky. Really, it should be good, but because it's not a vehicle, it's a biker. He suffers the minus one when he moves, mm. which is stupid. Because uh, even the other variant, the uh, onslaught Gatling cannon, that's a heavy as well. Yeah, all right. Because it's not infantry. It's not a vehicle. It's somewhere in between, isn't it? Mm. But it is a weapons platform. You would have thought it'd be better. Yeah. But considering how fast that thing is. Equivalent yeah. in real life, he's moving basically 90 miles an hour. If you're trying to shoot at 90 miles an hour. Yeah, but the Space Marines, they're good at shooting. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It is good. <laughs> if it hits, which it will do today, I, I'm banking on Well, it. hopefully it does something today. I mean, you can always keep it still, Tom. You don't have to move it well, flat out point, every time. So. <laughs> no. It's brother Keanu and Ted. Mm. They like they live for the speed. Oh, good God. I know what you did there. Yeah. Uh, See, I do watch films, Ross. He does, well, you've seen... You've had two film quotes today. Wow. Tom's yeah. watched at least two films. At least two. At least two. There's one that I keep thinking of, though. Do you know with power swords? Do you reckon they're like them swords in that film? Where it's like sabers of light. Oh, come on. Come on. Do you reckon they're Throw like that? in the dungeon. <laughs> It's, I'm not doing it. It's the trekking of the stars. Oh, is that what it's called? <sighs> right, cut the feed. Cut the feed. <laughs> I haven't finished yet. Cut off the channel. He's not coming back again. They right. love me, Ross. <laughs> That's why I keep coming back. I'm only here for the love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the ATV. Um, next one is Plasma Scepters. They did right last time, actually. They are good. They are good. I, I generally take the heavy bow variants because that's the only models I've got them equipped with. Mm. Uh, I like to take, like, nine or sometimes 12. But, um, I don't think they're that badly pointed either. They're 135 for the bolt ones, aren't they, for free? Yeah, I think. Was it extra fine for the plasma? No. Uh, 165 for them free. Okay. So what's that, an extra 30 points? Mm. Which is all right. But there's loads of shots, plasma shots, blast as well. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, yeah, 30. So yeah, extra 30 points, 5 points of blaster. Is it? No, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. But you can't have one and one of the other, can you? So. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. <coughs> that's just me, sorry. Um, but yeah, they're good. I like them. They've, they've done well the last two games that I've used them. They've done a job. Mm. Plus, they're fast, and you can deep strike them in as well, so you've got that option. Which is Plus, the blast rule is really nice. Blast rule's so good. Because um, they, if it wasn't for your stupid saving throws, they would have wiped that unit of hell blasters. They plasma on plasma. <laughs> I think you were just shooting it inside the barrel of my gun, and you yeah. I charged up your gun. That's what it was. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. But they should have died. They should have died. They should have died. But they didn't. Oh, they did to a dreadnought. Spoiler alert. Yeah, they did. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. But yeah, go back and watch that video. Yeah, it, it was it was fun one actually. Was I, I, really, I really enjoyed that one. Because uh, we played Open War then, yeah. and you never know what's going to happen. No. And I was so adamant. I'm like, yeah, I've got the range. I'm going to outshoot you. Um, with a deployment, you were pretty much 18 inches away from me. Yeah. Damn. I actually got a first turn charge, didn't I? Oh, that was horrible. Yeah. That was horrible. And it wasn't the front lines you charged. You walked around the back. You strutted around the back and charged the back lines. That's the way I like it. Mm -hmm. Rear entry. Okay, I'll we'll get into that one. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, finally, um, eradicators. Finally, finally, they're amazing. Ah, oh, they're so good. You don't. I'm I'm tempted to make the other three that I've got and paint them up. Just because you'd be that guy, I'll be that guy. I I'll get another box and I will be that guy. I will run three units of three. No, can they be? You can put them in units of six now, can't you? What? Yeah. Oh man. So what's that? Six. Oh, he's, he's working numbers out. Twelve. It's twelve plus eighteen. You can have. Let me check this. No, no. Excuse me. Sorry, no, I don't mean to. No way. That's no. Yeah, you can. Oh, why? Why? That's horrible. That's so, yeah, I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to... No. After this, after we finish filming this, I'm going to order another load of boxes and there will be eradicators everywhere. And they're great. They just point and click at something and it's yeah. dead. And I'm going to run them with salamanders. Just... <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, I've got three today. Next time, there may be more. They are good. They are really yeah, good. Yeah, they are really good. Double shooting as well. Mm hmm. Which I reckon might change soon. I think they should change. They well, should that change. new points book's coming out. They're either going to go up in points or they're going to change it. I think if they go up in points, they're still probably going to be worth it. Yeah. Um, they're such a good unit. Like we said before, just get rid of that line. Get rid of the double tap and yeah. keep them the same points. One shot each is still really, really good. Same as aggressors, same as the flamer ones. I know there's a lot of merit for aggressors because they do have the close combat, yeah. whereas the eradicators don't. Um, the eradicators are just so good. Yeah. Um, I think if you're watching this now and you're, you want to get into Marines, uh, or if you're new into the hobby and you're wondering what to pick, I think the two main picks at the moment is probably eradicators and apothecary. Probably. Yeah, you you have to have that in your list. It's you see that a lot with Marines. Yeah, so two thousand points on the nose today. It is two thousand points on the nose. I am rocking nine CB. So that's all right. Plus I've got the harvest one. So happy days. Yeah, gonna be very very good. Lots and lots of shooting. Mm. Um, so you got some heavy shooting, lots of rapid fire shooting. Yeah, you got pretty good range. Mm. Uh, I mean, you can supercharge if you need to, mm -hmm. and obviously you do have the close combat stuff as well, because there are no slaves in combat, no, no slaves in combat, and obviously the fists, the fists and not the yeah. hit fists. Yeah. So it's a pretty good all-rounder. Mm. Which is what Ultramarines are about, the jack of all trades, aren't they? They're not. And if I do get in combat, them. the fact that you can slink out of combat yeah. and still do your Yeah, that's it, fall back and shoot, and ignore the minus on a stratagem, it's... So we, but should we talk about Tyranids now? Do we have to? I think we kind of do. It'd be a bit one-sided. There's just one army on the table. Yeah, that's and that's true. it. That's the video. That's yeah. it. That's the battle report done. This is an army showcase. It's not a battle report. <laughs> <laughs> the tolls going to go home now. Yeah, see you later, guys. Thank you. Okie dokie. So Tyranids. We have a battalion, and it's 2,000 points on the nose. So it could be anybody's game. Uh, today I am rocking for my HQs. Uh, Malanthrope, which is my custom one, not the 412 one, because uh, it's not got the wibbly tail, it's got just a curved tail. Uh, and I've gone with a Tyranid Prime, because he was dirt cheap, yeah. and I was trying to get my three warriors in the troop section to hit on threes around the fours. He doesn't have any psychic powers, he is a bit meh, but I had a bit of a gap with points. Um, I don't think he's all there. Um, was he 95? No, he's cheaper than that. He, uh, I think something like 74, something like that. Oh, um, but he has got a couple of extras. Right. Uh, so I did, because with Tyranids you get a couple of points left over and you don't really know what to do with it. No. So I want to get as close to 2,000 points as possible. And if I put, let's say, another one of these guys in, which is 50 points, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have had enough for another one of them, mm -hmm. uh, which is 45 points. So with the Prime, it is 89 points because I've given him Toxin Sacks, which is 5 points. So if you've got 5 points left over, Toxin Sacks are pretty good. Yeah. Um, he's probably not going to get in combat. If he does, it's game over. He's not great. Mm -hmm. um, he has no invulnerable or anything like that. Um, and I gave him a death spitter, so it's slightly better shooting. But thinking he was going to die, I gave him the whip and bone sword, 
Because even if he dies, he still gets to attack. Mm. Yeah. So, so I know he's going to die, so I've given him that. So when he dies, mm. at least he gets to attack. Uh, but it's dirt cheap. And I had a few points left over I didn't know what to do with. So that's basically why he's there. And the Neuro Throat. I think the Neuro Throat's great. Especially <coughs> when you rock in Tom's favourite unit, the Zone Throats. Because mm. uh, get to re-roll ones within six inches of him. So that's pretty good for the psychic powers. See, I'm torn between what I hate more. Them or Hellblasters. Probably Hellblasters because... The, they uh, they stick around. They hell do blasters, stick around. I They're do. just a pain in the ass to remove, aren't they? I generally kill myself for hell blasters, so that's not much of an issue. Well, you you're good at perils as well, so. Yes, I am very good at perils. To be fair, uh, let's see if I can take out um, my warlord again today with perils. Oh, that'd be so good. Um, <laughs> it happens a lot at a local club. Um, so yeah, that was my HQ. Briefly mentioned the warriors. Uh, it was my troops' choice. One of my troops' choices. So. Death Spitters on two of them, um, Simon Talons, and a Venom Cannon on one as well. It's upgraded one of the basic ones to a heavy. Um, they are what they are. It's troops, it's obsec, not fantastic. Uh, unlike Rippers, which are amazing, um, they have taken out a Blood Angel Captain before in the past. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. <laughs> Sorry, Graham. Um, but. Were these the ones that were on the table, though? <laughs> you knew it was coming, Ross. So I lost the tournament uh, because I forgot <laughs> it was round four, not three, and I didn't put uh, Rippers on an objective. That's they're, they're in deep strike, and he forgot. Yeah, yeah. A man who's been playing Warhammer for how long? It's not that. This man's been counting for how long because I couldn't count to four. <laughs> so it was worse than that. It was worse than that. So I've got two oh, units of rippers, two min units, so two units of three. Uh, two Are they each. four wounds each? Uh, no, they're only three wounds each, but for some reason they have four attacks each, is that right? I can't remember which way around it is. Because they're basically like, a bit like scarabs, aren't they? Uh, similar. Well, scarabs can fly Yeah. for some reason, I <laughs> don't know. Uh, whereas these guys, um, so they're 36 points per unit. There is three models in a unit. They have four attacks each, mm. but only three wounds. So effectively, there's only three models on a base. Yeah, One of them is like the Sergeant Ripper, I guess. Mm. Gets to attack again. Hey ho, I don't know. Um, it's just what they are. Uh, they're not planning to stay around very long. They're planning to screen out and maybe grab some objectives. Yeah, that's what they're for. Yeah, just be slightly irritating. So that was my troop choices. So two. Units over there, one unit here. Um, I have picked a fast attack from Forge World. The He's fast attack. He's fast attack. I thought it was a Lord of War. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, the, the D Mac Acheron? D Mac Show me, I, I can't D D remember. D Mac Acheron? D Mac Acheron sounds more like. No, it's the Macacaron. The Macacaron. The Macacaron, I'm yeah. for. So 230 uh, points. Sexy as though, isn't he? I think it's a cool model. Oh. I have uh, given him the ability to, if he kills anything with um, melee attacks, he can basically heal. So if he mm. eats something, which he wants to in a way because he gets a 5 up feeling of pain yeah. if he does that. And it doesn't say living. So uh, if I eat a tank, for example, or eat a dreadnought, some reason. Yeah. It's all biomass, isn't it? It's, it's kind of biomass, I guess. So he, yeah, I mean, he, inside of a tank, it's still like the squishy centre of like a marine or something. It's yeah. like a chocolate eclair. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Basically, he's going to be a blender for days. He ignores terrain, which is pretty cool. Mm. He leaps over stuff. Five up and vulnerable. I'm giving it a go. I'm giving it a go. Um, I never thought the model was that cool. Until it was in my hand, and I was like, actually, that is pretty cool. To be honest, I've never actually seen that. I've been on Forge World a few times looking at the Nid stuff, because their stuff does... I, I didn't even notice him. It's quite often out of stock. And I wasn't terribly sure about the spiky bit on top of his head. I thought it was a bit weird. But the more I look at it, the more I think it kind of looks like the Alien Queen. Yeah. So, especially, like, the, the mouth inside the chest. Rather That's than another that. film that I know. Wow. Shock horror. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, so I have picked... Um, a couple of elites as well. So 
Um, I've got uh, the horror specs, which I've never used the horror specs before in my life. I just think it's a cool model. Uh, it's magnetized, so I can turn it into an exo screen if I need to. Uh, not halfway through the game, sadly. But, um, <laughs> I think it looks fun. But it doesn't get many rave reviews, but I'm giving it a go because Roller Cool. Roller Cool always wins. Roller Cool. Uh, but it's freshly painted, which means in this particular game it will die. I don't know. I'm die there's so it. much to choose from. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, once again, I've given this one an adaptive physiology, so I spent CP for an additional one, and I've given him a five up invulnerable because I want him up front, and I'm thinking eradicators are probably shooting in the face, the big gribbly face. Um, although I wouldn't mind it getting an extra heal. By eating stuff. <laughs> it's a shame you can't have two, but still. He does heal a little bit in a way. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be shoveling stuff in his face all the time. Um, you're terrible. Also, Hive Guard, I've gone for a unit of five. Uh, purely because. They're like the NID version of Eradicators, aren't they? You, you can't, yeah, you've got to have them in your list. They don't look massively strong because they only do two damage. Yeah, but it's a lot of the shots, though, isn't it? But. It's not, no, they're only two shots each, but they get to shoot twice. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. The only reason I'm not taking units of six is blast weapons and the fact I've really struggled to fit them behind terrain. Yeah. Because they don't need line of sight. No, that's it. Just stick them somewhere nice and safe and... Yeah, and with the extra base, they generally... Oh, I can see a tail, mm. I can see him. They're dead. Uh, these guys, the Zonthropes, are elite as well. And boy, are they elite. Uh, because I've got more than three... They can have an additional psychic power, mm. and they have a really good warp blast, which is a better smite. So it's D3 plus 3, because if I could fit 6 in, it'd be... Uh, yeah, D3 plus 3, if I fit 6 in, but I've only got 5, so it's D3 plus D3. For the mortal wounds, which is pretty tasty. Mm. I can see how you really like them. 24 inch range. Yeah, which is better than 18, right? Is that a psychic? Yeah, it is psychic, isn't it? So I can deny it. Slightly better smite, yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. That's why Severin lost here. Mm. He's going to deal with those yes. Xenos psychics. Mm. And in the heavy slot, I have got the Exocrine. Do load myself an Exocrine. And this guy, or lady, this thing. <laughs> um, so, uh, Barbie, Barbie Hero Jewel. Um, so, it's quite expensive, 275 points. It has got close combat options, I suppose. Because um, it has more wounds than Exocrine, it's slightly better save than Exocrine. And the gun is too damaged like an Exocrine, same number of shots, you keep still and everything. I played in one game so far, and it didn't do anything. But I'm hoping, playing in two games, I'm going to give it a fair chance. Yeah. I'm not just going to put it in the cupboard and leave it there. I just think it looks nice. Roller cool. Roller cool. So, roller cool, roller cool, roller cool. Um, leaves me with uh, Terran effects at the end with the rupture cannon. It's a bit of range. So, strength 10? It is strength 10. Yeah. So, today I'm going with one high fleet. I decided to go with Kronos because Simbo Storm and this guy is wicked. So, it gets to put it on a unit. Kronos are more shooty, aren't they? That basically, they re-roll ones if they keep still when they're shooting. And Nid's not being massively accurate. Yeah, it's good. I think it's nice. Because normally I go 50-50, bit of Kronos, bit of Kraken. Everyone likes a bit of Kraken. Uh, but no, it's not that much close combat today. It's there to put some close combat in your face. Deal with this, Tom. I'm just looking at it. Mind. I think you have less units than I do. Possibly. Possibly. There's a lot of... Big boys in there. Which I know straight Big away, boys. Tom's probably going to go with Bring It Down. Yeah. yeah. Because you can get 11 that. points, I think. So yeah. two, 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 and one over there. I did spend one CP additionally for another relic. So I spent one already for an additional... Um, uh, I need to say Simbo Storm then. Adaptive Physiology. Mm. Uh, but I have given him an extra relic. Purely because <coughs> I had 11 points and it, it makes me come out in cold sweats. But I would spend all the CP as fast as possible. That's the thing. I'm, your first turn, you're going to have no CP left. It's me. 
It's me. So I'm down to 10 voice. because I've given him the better um, acid gland. So normally he spends 5 points for an acid gland. On a 6, he does an additional damage. Um, but with Combat or shooting? In close combat. Um, but with this additional uh, relic bolted onto this is the gland. Um, well, not literally. Um, <laughs> grafted, should I say, because it's nids. Uh, a mortal wound on a 5 plus as well in close combat. It's not great. Is close that combat. two wound, is it? Or is that after you've done the damage? That's on the wound roll. Right. On okay. the wound roll. So it's an additional Whoa. mortal wound in close combat. He's not great. He's not a marine in close combat. How many attacks does he have? I think he has four standard. Does he get any extra because of his. <laughs> no, he basically gets to attack even if he dies with the. <laughs> Just the, uh, well, it, the whoosh, and the sword is part of the same thing. You have to buy the sword and a whoosh, as a joint package. Ah, I see. Hmm. Whoosh, yeah. <laughs> For good measure. Okay, so today's mission was four pillows. So here's the deployment. We have objective over here. Tom is heavily on that one over there. So Tom managed to get this table quarter, so if you ever played four pillars before, the table is quartered, but you can deploy within nine inches of the centre, so there's a big bubble in the middle, 18 inch bubble. So, three dreadnoughts there, right on the other side, piece of terrain. Objective over there, no one's on that because I uh, <laughs> haven't got any reserve stuff. These guys are definitely over there. Didn't go too, too close because Tom was a bit cagey where he was going to put his eradicators and I am massively scared like a little girl. Um, so over here was a very good play. Tom obviously can put these guys nine inches outside my deployment zone so you put them on the objective. So the second turn is going to be pretty good for Tom. He's got a pretty good second turn play. He's gone four. Oath of moment because Marines, why wouldn't you? So if he's within six inches for the center, it's two points. Uh, one point for not failing morale, another point for bringing down a heavy or a monster, and I do have a lot. Uh, and he has bring it down, which works really nicely with over moment. Uh, so that's potential 11 points there, which is very, very strong. And first time ever, we've gone for Psychic Ritual. Uh, has to be within 6 inches holy yep. to perform Psychic Power. Uh, funny enough, I've actually gone for the same. Uh, this is end of game one though, isn't it? Yeah, so you've got to do it three times yeah. in the game to get your 15 points. Mm -hmm. um, and I've gone for it as well. Um, so Tom blatantly copied my homework. Yeah, damn right. Picked it <laughs> half a second before Tom. I've gone for assassinate, because uh, Tom, you have five characters? I have a fair, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Five. And I've gone for the good old fashioned engage, because I'm hoping to get at least three table quarters every turn. <laughs> So, this is it, people. This is what everybody wants to know. Who's going to go first? So, I've deployed slightly defensively. Uh, Tom's put his dreadnoughts right up the front, but everything else is defensive. So, terrain-wise, uh, we're saying the pieces with the arches are solid pieces. So, that one there is a solid piece. Yeah. It's because... That one over there is a solid it'll piece. It would be a bit unfair on Ross, because mine's the only models that can really fit through it. Plus, it, it's beneficial because that is uh, no line of sight. Mm. Line of sight blocking there as well. Line of sight blocking yeah. there and there. So we have um, one, two, three, four, five main line of sight blocking pieces of terrain. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the gantries are cover if you're on top and intervening if you're shooting through. Uh, difficult terrain and cover if you're infantry. And uh, obviously, defensible and cover over here. So, very good play for Tom there. So, let's roll it off. Oh. Do you want to go first or second? I'll go second. You, you want to go second? Oh, what? In the, no, not in the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, not good. Six! So you go first, Tom. You said you want to go second. I would like you lied to, to me. But also, can I rapid redeploy? You can rapid redeploy. Two CP from Ultramarines, so I can move three units. That's really, really, really strong. So uh, expect a lot of nids dying in first turn. We'll come back after Tom's redeploy and then we'll do his movement phase.
Okay, so Tom's rapid redeploy. So for two CP, you can pick yeah. up the three units. So why wouldn't you pick three? I moved several off up because he's got the rerolls against Cypers and stuff, plus he's a bit of a beast in combat, so I thought get him up quick. Um, heavy intercessors there because I'll stick them in cover and then because they've got brilliant range. They've got fantastic. The thingy and the eradicators just to get them in range. Because the eradicators are amazing. So yeah. that was pre game. Now it's actually first turn. So Ooh. Tom will move his stuff. So we'll come back after he's moved his stuff. So after Tom's movement phase, these guys are staying there just for a minute. He's Ooh. obviously scared of the rippers. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, these guys have moved up as Tom predicted. Getting a bead on over there. Dreadnoughts have moved up. Severon has actually advanced as well, getting right in there for those rerolls. Those eradicators fancy the chances. And the bike is there. Yeah. What do you want to do next? Psychic. <gasps> no way. Yeah, I think. Uh, Invon. He's got the Invon, hasn't he? And he's got the Invon. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So Nozo might be a possibility. Possible, possible, because it's, is it six inches around you? But I'm probably coming towards you, aren't I? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's to bank on your turn, really. Mm-hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And I have not picked the Warlord trait. I picked an adaptive physiology, because the Warlord trait I would have picked is, obviously, if you fail psychic, you take mortal wounds. Mm. Doesn't happen very often, so mm. I didn't pick it. So you're safe. So if you perils, yeah. you perils. So I don't make you perils. I'm going to go no zone first, so I need a warp charge of 7. Okay, so it's minus 1 because you're within 18 of those guys. That's an 8. forgot about that. Uh, but you got plus 1 in a way, haven't you? No, I don't. It's only plus 1 to deny the witch test. Okay, right, cool. 6. So ah. it doesn't go off, but you're glad to know I haven't got the warlord trait, so you no, do not perils. On any doubles, is it? Uh, no, it means if you fail at any ah, okay, perils. Good. But I didn't pick it. So you're safe, you're good. Right, so that's fine. Uh, Psychic Fortress, I need a seven because of your minus one. You're, th you're very welcome. Hey, um, no worries. You want to reveal? I am going to try and deny. Uh, I'm not bothered with so Technically that's an eight, isn't it? Uh, no. Because it's minus one. It's a one, it's four. Ah, it's a four, okay, sorry. I thought it was a six. No, six Nearly got away with it. the actual white screen. Oh, I was going to let you have that. <laughs> No. You don't want to so. spend a CP to reroll on him? No, because it's only really going to benefit the two dreads. And He's already got an invulnerable, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Saying that, though, it's handy. Yeah, I will reroll. Okay, spend the CP. Uh, that's a. Technically, it's an eight. Nine. Five Ten. plus four is nine. Minus so. one. Yes. Eight. Yes. That's what we said. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to get nine or more. Oh, yeah. Is that Perils? Because it's done. Yeah. <laughs> perils and Deny the Witch. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. That would have been a psychic test. You know that, right? Uh, because I spent the <laughs> CP. Oh, yes. Do you get it back? You must remember this. Fives. No. no. Okay. Fine. So you're down to what now? Six. Six. Okay. Okay. But I can keep doing that until I get one. Yeah, yeah, in a turn, you get one back in a turn because of that. Uh, so that's psychic, so now it's just shooting. Uh, and technically you spent... Oh, that's before the game started, you spent two points, didn't you? Not... No, that still counts, actually, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, if it still counts, yeah. Because it's in the game, it's just before the first sure. round. Tom gets to roll two dice, any one of these is good. Yay! Yeah, you get one back. Get cool. one back. It's so about seven. So that's it for this turn, then. Okay, that's so, for this turn. Wicked. Yeah, it's not per game. It's per oh, I thought game. you meant this is all your actions this turn. No, <laughs> no Ross. Don't be silly. Come on, Tom. All right, shooting. This is going to hurt, kids. Not going to lie. Uh, okay, so these guys. Were they heavy weapons? Not within rapid fire range. But then they try to take a pulse shot. Is, I forgot to say during the thingy command phase after the movement. and that <clears throat> His Bane of the Damned ability allows re-rolls of wounds for... Any core that's within six inches of him. Okay. So I'll put that on the white dread. So that's on the white dread. And yeah. also in the command phase over here. Chuck the master put his re rolls on the stone guard, but it makes no difference. Doesn't make any difference, thing. but still. Um, the seal of oath that the apothecary's got, we put on the gangly alien queen. Which <laughs> it is the alien queen. So that's re roll, hit rolls, and wound rolls against that. Until it's dead. Until it's dead. Which is nice. That's lethal, that's a brilliant yeah, ability. Yeah, it's, it's a really good ability. Right, so 
uh, shooting, I'll start with the heavy intercessors. One of them's got a heavy bolter in it. Mm -hmm. It's 10 points, so. Why wouldn't you? He's going to put. Well, they're all going into your brain dudes. Cool. So the Zenthropes are minus one to hit because the Manonthrope yeah. is nearby. Rerolling ones because he's got built in captain ability. Ooh. Very nice. So it's minus one to hit because of he moved and it's a heavy. Cool. But the rest are normal. So. Uh, fours, rerolling ones. Mm -hmm. That's two hits. Nice. Shrimp five. Toughness four. One. Minus two, so. But it's your blood anyways. Yep. So, freeze. Uh, that is one. Right, so one it's three up. It's blood. two damage, isn't two it? Two damage, yeah. I'm okay oh, so far. Does. Of course he does. So <laughs> far. Right, four with the others. There's no rapid. Like, but it's still minus one this. because the man on throat, but yes, about rerolling ones. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Right, so fours, rerolling ones. Yeah, but last time was minus one anyway, Tom, so. <laughs> You get minus one on the heavy bolter because you moved anyway, so you yeah. can't have minus two. Right? So you, you did it right, you're good. You're so okay. that's free. Uh, be freeze again because the strength five. Very nice. Uh, that's four. Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Maths. Maths, people. Oh, oh I'm going to use a CP to re roll one. It's only one damage each, so. I know, I know, but it would take a do that. Uh, what do you want? So, so one guy's on one wound left. That's unusual, boss. That was bad rolling. Changing the dice, changing the dice. So <laughs> one guy, uh, put on that guy. Carob Cullen. Yes. The um, Leviathan. <laughs> Le Relic Leviathan, Jack. Because he is the Risen. Mm -hmm. This is sort of a grudge match for him because it was a Swarm Lord that put him in his sarcophagus. Well, there you go. There's no Swarm Lord today. No, but... So, don't shoot them. I blame that guy, because he looks like the only thing that they would have put Caracol into a deathbed. We will see. <laughs> we will see. Right, Only so, in death does duty end. Truth. Uh, he's going to put Heavy Bolt around his twin assault cannon into your brain dudes, and mm -hmm. the, uh, the missiles are going to go into that thing. Mm-hmm. So I'll start off with the twin assault. Minus one, so he's hitting on freeze. No big deal. So that's fine. Two, two, one. No rerolls because he's not caught. And that's a six. That is a six. Just reminding those at home because I always forget. <laughs> freeze because. No, twos. Because this is strength six. I'm strength four. So if yes. was right. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I make up my rolling rules. Yep, totally. Freeze. Mm -hmm. uh, get rid of one, get rid of one, get rid of two. So that is... Strong. It's strong. Six at... Well, it's on your own bun, so it makes a difference. It makes a difference to me, Tom. It makes a difference to <laughs> me. Mentally. Right, so threes. I predict a few of these guys are going to be taken out. Can't spend any more re-rolls. I've lost one guy. Two guys. Oh. Two guys are down, Tom, oh. which is good for you because it, it means good. I can only do one psychic power now. Yes. Not two. That's why I put five in a unit to soak up a few of the. You've got the heavy bolts to go. Heavy bolts, so freeze again. Oh. Good. Nada. And then 100 cutting missiles into S Big Mama. Okay. Uh, freeze. All hit. Uh, this is strength 10, oh. and freeze. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, Nasty. Hang on, hang on. Uh, this will be minus three. What's the, does that have an in one? Uh, it doesn't have an in one, so it'd be a six up save. I'm gonna re-roll that then, please. Okay. Yeah, so three at Three minus. only sixes. I did see a six for a second, but none of them pass. D6. Ouch. Uh, so, seven. Ten. Ooh, still alive. Not looking good. I can't re-roll. Okay, so Dread at the back. Francis his chances. Do pink or four wounds on that thing. Yep. So number of shots. One. One shot. Uh, Minus one to hit. So freeze, re-roll and ones because of Colin and the core, which is brilliant. That is brilliant. So it's a hit. Yes. Uh, this is strength eight, so fours to wound. Wounds at minus four, Oof. so you don't even get a save. I don't even get a save. It's two damage, isn't it? Uh, three because I overcharge. 
Oh, wow, very good. So that leaves me with one, one people. That is a big, big deal. Uh, the mid dread. I wonder where that's going to go. White one. Um. So this guy. Okay, he's going to put his oh, heavy plasma <clears throat> into Big Mama. Yeah, because he needs to pink off one wound. So D three shots. One shot. One shot. That's all he needs. I'm overcharging. All he needs. Oh no, I don't need to, do I? He only needs one wound, so yeah. I don't need to. No, but you'll be wounded on four, yeah. else, won't you? So. Um. So. Yeah, I will overcharge, but I'm rerolling ones anyway. So. That's a miss. It's a miss. One, it? it is a miss. I'm still alive, just. Yeah, that's about that. And then Tom's gonna put his storm bows into these guys. Yeah. Uh, he gets four shots because he's near coming. He's, he's picking on me, mum. Um, right. So, so yep. On one. Because they normally hit on twos, don't they? Yes, they do. Four hit. And fours rerolling because of the bane of the damned. Cool, cool. Job. Better. Venerable Dread's great because the ballistics is two, you see. Yeah. So that's three at zero AP, but it's ruined by the new ones. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Three. Three at three. You've already hurt me enough. I lose one wound. Mm. I lose one wound. Cool. Okay, ATV, it's time to shine. Yeah, I'm going to put the melter into your Hyra Jewel. Mm -hmm. And the assault bolt guns into your warriors. I'll start with the um, melter. melter. It'll be fours, five, no, fours. Fours, yeah. Because he's got minus anyway. It's one. one. It's good. It's good. I'll take that. It's, tough. it's eight, so fours. fours. Nah. Ooh. Not that! Yet. Alright. Auto bolt rifles. Six shots. Mm -hmm. Fours. Because you're minus. Are they minus? No, not minus. No, no, no. So freeze. That one. Okay, okay. Fours. Uh, two. Okay. No AP on that. No AP. So, regular save. Oh, uh, one fail. One wound, one wound. Right, eradicators. Eradicators. They're gonna go into Alien Queen. Alien Queen, going down. Uh, falls. Okay. Mm. So I spent the reroll. I have uh, so. Uh, falls. Falls. Ah, no, not da. Ah. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, okay. Do I have to take morale because of synapse? No. And thankfully Tom rolled a five here, so it didn't actually wound, leaving me on one. Question is, in my turn, do I spend two CP to potentially regenerate some wounds? Oh. Is it worth it? But at the end of Tom's turn one. I don't know if I score anything, though. Oh, for the moment! Oh, for some moment. You're within six inches? You do get two points. Oh, you have not taken down your one point shy, so you do not get one point for that. Well, that would have been six of the centers. Got to be. Five. So, yes, you've got two points for that, sir. So far. But remember, it's my turn, so I could make you pass your morale and get a point there. But we'll see after Tyranid's turn one movement. Okay, Tyranid's turn one movement. Uh, so, Horus Bex has moved up there. It's not going to go well for him in close combat, but he's going to give it a go. These guys have moved up over here. I uh, did kind of drop the ball a little bit on the Psychic Power, um, Psychic Ritual for the secondary, mm. because it means, I, I believe, you cannot do the second Psychic Power. That's because it's an action. Right? It's an action. Yeah. So, if I did my first Psychic Power, as a psychic power, then I did an action. I wouldn't be able to do the action, no. and vice versa. Well, that's do where that power. way of thinking it is. We don't know 100%. Yeah, and I know Tyranids can spend a CP to do another psychic power, but I don't think. Anyway, basically, I'm thinking for a Symbio Storm on him, for example. But doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I've moved up everything over here. Is minus one hit only in shooting. He fancies his chances. Jumping over the the rocks, trying to get into the ATV, and they're gonna.
try to put some shots into these guys. So, wellity, wellity, wellity. Uh, first things first, in the psychic phase, only need a warp charge value of three to perform the action. It's not going to go well, I don't think. You need it to three times in the game to get it. Uh, I believe you can, yeah. Because it's still a warp charge, isn't it? I get to reroll ones, thankfully. Still goes off, but. Oh, wow. There you go, Tom. Can I deny? I'm pretty it's sure. It's an action, so. I'm pretty sure because it's a psychic power. He can't do anything else now. Um, psychic powers with these guys. So the smite isn't as good as it once was because Tom's dropped me down below four models. So nine and a half inches there. I've got to shoot this guy, sadly. So I'm going to try the good old smite. Good old smite. So it's just standard smite, just slightly longer now. I get to reroll ones, thankfully, because of the narrow throat nearby. Do you want to try to deny that? So I will. I'll get plus one to my deny. So it's the same then, because I minus one, the shadow of the warp, and you got the psychic hood. So you still need a nine to stop me. Okay. So it's just a d3. And it's two mortal wounds. And that's the end of the psychic phase for Nids. Barbie is going to shoot these guys. Transhuman. Wonderful, wonderful. So I'm hitting on fours because of intervening terrain. Because those gantries are minus one to shoot through. Oh, that's horrible. It's not too bad. Really? Yeah. Ah, what? That's that. Five. Five, and now I'm wounding on fours. That's god awful. That's only three at minus two, two damage apiece. And I'm cover, so minus two, mm -hmm. fives. Uh, make one, so one is dead. One's dead, and that's it. Exocrine is going to try to shoot these guys. So hitting on threes, rerolling ones. No Simbo Storm, so Ross is very sad. So rerolling those ones. There's a few twos there, Tom. Oh my good god. <laughs> so it's this some. Some went through, but I'm only wounding on fours because of transhuman physiology. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. That is three. Minus two. Minus two, two damage. Five. Uh, fair one. So two damage. So one guy left oh, on one oh, wound, oh. I believe. Ouch. <sighs> this guy. Single shot, 12 inches with his tongue. <laughs> yes. Um. Hasn't taken any damage, there's no point in trying to eat somebody. D3 damage. Am I likely to destroy that big guy? Probably not. Because D3 damage, minus one on the dreadnought, just hurts you, doesn't it? So even if I roll two, it's still only one damage. Yeah. So he's going to try his tongue into there. Mm -hmm. So hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. Wounding on. That's a very good point, actually. What the, his tongue, I think it's only a seven. Tom and Mass. It's strength six, so still threes. Okay. It is. You are in cover, yep. but it's a massive AP3, so AP2 effectively because you're in cover. Five. Nope. Okay. That is three damage. Flat three. Mm, D3 damage. That's what I said. What do you think I said? Two. Two damage. One and one. They've got three wounds each. Gravis. Ah, oh, I forgot. But still happier than shooting the dread and then only doing one wound effectively. Ooh. Right. So, so this guy's going to try pathogenic slime for two CP. So all of his weapons do one extra damage, and I'm going to try to take out that guy. It's not likely to happen, but we'll give it a go. So it is six shots, and unfortunately, I am now hitting on fives. Rerolling ones. No ones. This is eight versus no, it's ten versus eight. So it's threes to wound. Uh, is it or come? Yes. I'm assuming he's not toughness ten. Toughness ten. So it's three, isn't it? It's three, isn't it? 
Uh, I'm gonna re-roll one. Yeah, okay, so that is three. Mm -hmm. AP. Damage is three. AP minus three. So didn't burn anyways, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Five. Uh, make two. Okay, so this is a big D6 plus one damage. <coughs> Four. Well, it's technically three because you are a dreadnought, which is nice, which is nice. Uh, he's stinger salvos, uh, they're not amazing, but they are within range, and there's four of them, so why wouldn't I? Still, same again. Nope. And it's only strength uh, five. So wounding on fives. What? <laughs> on a tiny gun that I didn't care about. What's the AP on That's this? three of them. Uh, it's AP one. Uh, freeze them. Uh, two. So Normally it would be two damage because I put the thing on, but there's only one damage because it's a dreadnought. I didn't think it was going to do anything, so I was going to shoot those guys, but I was like, nah, I'll just bang them into him. I am very surprised. How many wounds has he got left, sir? Seven. Seven salty sailors. Okay. Hive guard are next. I'm gonna shoot them, but Tom is going to pop smoke. Mm-hmm. So minus one to hit. So I'm hitting on fours, three rolling ones, which is a big deal. Well, yes, it is a big deal because it stopped me from doing four shots there. Uh, I do miss Symbio Storm. Maybe I should have put it on them rather than thinking about the mission. Uh, so wounding on twos. Uh, I've already spent the reroll. So that is five. Mm -hmm. uh, minus two. And you ignore cover. I ignore cover. As well as line of sight. Yeah. Broken. What? <laughs> uh, minus what? Two. Two. So fives. Uh, make two. Mm -hmm. so it's D three damage each. So cock dies. Still one. Next one kills him. Next one kills him. So that's two dice down. And was it one to go? One more, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Hive guard, man. Uh, you. And one guy's taking one wound. Do I bother, at the end of the shooting phase, spending two CP to shoot these guys and finish them off? Or do I shoot these? Because that's very, very painful. So spending two CP. So I am going to shoot the Eradicators. Because they still have Transhuman on them. Which is a good play for Tom. Rerunning those ones. So I failed. I do miss Symbio Storm. Sadly only characters can do the Psychic Ritual. Both probably shouldn't have picked Psychic Ritual. Oh that's god awful Tom. 40% ones. <laughs> oh, 50% ones. Uh, minus two, yeah. It's minus two. So, fives. I'll make one. So, whatever it is, it's going to kill him. That last one, yeah. Was it worth it? I do not know. Right, so charge phases. Fine enough, I'm going to charge over here. Would you like to overwatch? Uh, no, I'm not going to Okay. So, two dice. No. <laughs> Would five. Get me in. Uh, yeah, I think it will. Wicked. Lovely. This is a bad move on my part over here. Uh, that I am going to spend the CP. I on. thought you might somehow. Because Ultramarines have a special one. Defensive focus. Two mm -hmm. CP unless you can select three other friendly Ultramarine units more than one inch away from an enemy unit but within six inches of the targeted unit. Oh dear God. He's down. He's going to so, go. The three others that I'm going to pick are these. Mm-hmm. Him. Mm -hmm. And what can I see with him? Yeah, I can. Him. Okay, so they're all hitting on sixes. This is a big, big mistake. I did oh, not know about this. Cold as well. Yeah, so I totally messed this up. It's totally my mistake, guys. I do not know Ultramarines well enough, obviously. Uh, free CP okay, so this is where the pain hurts. This is, yeah, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. start with um, Colin anyways. Okay, so hitting on sixes, and you're going with what weapon first? Uh, it's twin auto cannon, so 12 shots. Not oh, bad move. Uh, it's only two shots. Go through. Top is eight. Uh, be fives. One. Yeah, uh, minus 
two because we're in devastated. Okay. So I'm okay. So far, so far this is uh, heavy bolter. Mm -hmm. uh, one goes through. Let's see, it'll be fives again. Mm. Nope, that's wrong. Uh, flame of tibbies, so two d six. Uh, what's that? Eight. Okay, so eight, eight shots eight, auto hitting. Eight. Eight. Five to wound. There's two at minus. Two. Minus two. Heavy flame as well. Oh wow. Uh take one damage. Oh. So that's him. So I, I am down to now twelve damage, people. Right. But I did not know about the stratagem. You're probably all shouting at me saying ultramarines, look out. Mm. He's probably not gonna kill him in combat anyway, they're just fancy tying him up for a bit. I might as well shoot both of these at the same time. Same, same profile, yeah. Out, so. Number of shots. 2d3 for the plasma, uh, two shots each. For those sixes, sixes. supercharging. Nope. Uh, not uh, eight shots with the storm bolters. Sixes. Uh, just one. That's uh, be five. No, sixes because he's T8 in it. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's fine. These guys. Uh oh. Five shots with his finger magics. Six is re rolling ones because of thingy. I forgot about that. It's fine. Oh, one went through. Fives to wound. Nope. Heavy bolter. Nope. Ooh. Okay. That's all right. Sure. Does he make it in after all that? Of course he does. does make it in. Uh, probably want to keep out of bounds of the others though. It's probably a good idea. So this guy's going to spend one CP to feed the hunger. So taking me down to five. Tom was right. I did spend one for a reroll. So I am down to five, which I feel a bit weird about. I actually got CP left, Tom. Yeah, that's So normally has four attacks, this guy. But each attack is a D3. Do I go for multiple attacks? What strength seven? Uh, it's only strength seven. Or do I go for the shoveling claws, which is only four attacks, but it is strength times two. That's probably best, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna go for that. So it's only four attacks. Feeding the hunger allows me to re-roll all. So hopefully. What's he getting on? Fours. Normally he's not very accurate with those big old claws. So three go through. Strength. Times two. So it's fourteen. Uh two so. Wicked! All go through. So this is a big old. Uh, probably. Minus. It is minus three. Yeah. Well. How many was that? Three. Sorry. Three. Whoa. Nada. Okay, so it is D six each. D six. Oh, 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 minus one. I'm gonna spend a CP on one. Okay, go for it. Why not? Yeah, he's. So two. So just a two, and it takes you down to how many CP now? Two. Don't think I'm likely to kill Tom. How many wounds you got left? Seven. Seven. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Oh, he's just to blow up as well. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, is it only six? I imagine it'd be six, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I would imagine so. Uh, he doesn't blow up. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. On a six, yeah. Everything within six inches, three. Dun dun dun! <laughs> oh That's no! So, how do we do it first? Should we do me first? Giggity. Got a lot of you. A D3, yeah. Yeah, so me first? Yeah. Okay. For free. Ooh. Ooh. Takes me down to nine, Tom. That's oh, a big deal. They've got feel no pains, though, haven't they? So. Have they? Yeah. Wow, how do they get feel no pain? I know, strange, isn't it? Uh, so, the white one. For one, does he feel with it? Sixes. Yeah, yes, he does. So he takes one. So fine. So you get feel no pain from the carrot, do you? No, that's their own thing, isn't it? Because they're bunnies. Oh, didn't know that. Wow, it's been a while since I played Venerables. So I haven't played uh, them probably since well, seventh edition, I think. Oh, really? Just uh, the one, one as well. Does he feel that? Yes, he does. He gets one. Severin. Oh yeah, the man himself. Uh, two. So he gets 
two. He's what that uh, kills him anyway, so yep. he's looking for it. Oh, do mortals Whoa. travel? They do. They do. They do. Uh, so two. two. So one and one. That's fine. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That was pretty painful. The most damage was on myself. Okay. So after that, he's going to shimmy up just slightly, not engaging the... Oh, to be fair, you will get to smack me back, but you probably will kill me anyway. So, probably being shot at. I don't know. How many attacks does he get with a fist? Because he would be charged. That's five attacks, is it? Five attacks, yeah. Times two. So I'll be wounding you on probably Lee would kill me, I would imagine. Flat three damage. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm not gonna engage It's just gonna be there for a minute. The only reason I'm doing that is two points for engaging all fronts because I'm over the line. Over here I'm gonna attack the ATV. Tom does not want to interrupt. So six attacks, hitting on threes, re-rolling all. Probably just as well, <laughs> really, you know. Yeah, all hits now. Uh, strength eight, so wounding on threes. One fail, so that's five, six up saves. Okay. It's damage, um, Three plus D3. Yeah, he's gone. Which means I am going to shimmy towards the nearest. So I'm after Michael Jackson moonwalk that way. Because of the pointy stuff. Does mean now he has feel no pain. Yes. Which is nice. So that's the end of my first turn. It's pretty nasty, so I do get engaged on all fronts. Mm -hmm. Um, I have killed a character, so that's three points, because assassinate. Mm -hmm. Done one part of my psychic ritual, uh, but Tom needs to do morale, and if he passes, he gets a point for that, because of Oath of Moment. I can't even fail it, though, can I? Can no. One. No. So you can't fail, Tom gets a point, a point for Oath of Moment. So Tom's going to put Chapter Masters on the aggressors. On the aggressors. I've still got Seal of Oath for your alien queen. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And Bane of the Damned on the white one again. Yep. The rerolls. Makes re sense. So Tom should be now on is it three CP or four? Sure, I'm back. To three you. CP. I'll put up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, each time he spends one, he can spend uh, reroll yeah, and five off and get it back, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Right, so we'll come back after Tom's movement. What's he gonna do? Ooh. Okay, so Tom's <coughs> movement phase. A little bit of a shimmy up here. Uh, your main character, your psycho, is staying within six of the center because you want to try to do the ritual. Mm -hmm. Which, like we both said, is probably a bad pick. Have we read it thoroughly? Yeah, we wouldn't have chosen it. Um, it is a shame, but it is worth 15 points if it works. Yeah. So it is pretty good that way. These guys are staying still. Slightly shimmy over here. Mm -hmm. These guys are staying within the objective but moving up, and the boys are moving up over here. Yeah, that guy is going to be toast. That guy is going to be toast. So Tom's going to do his psychic ritual now, he says. Yeah, so I just need a free for this, don't I? Yep. Uh, yep, there you go. Yeah, so that's fine. one point so far. Over here somewhere? So remember, we need to do this three times in the game to get 15 <sighs> points. I did a Ross, I forgot to deploy my. Oh, that's is. not a Ross. That is <laughs> not being called a Ross. Right. <sighs> Damn. That's a Ross. <laughs> Damn it. Well, at least no. they're not dead yet. Oh, come on. Yes, it's only turn two, Tom. Remember, bring him in next turn. Yeah. Definitely bring him in next turn. Right. Uh, right, so you want to do some shooting? Yeah. Um, that one guy is on a flipping mission. Yeah, I might as well just do it into him and then. I mean, I know he's Gravis and everything, but if you, even if you were Gravis, would you try your luck? No, well, it's for the Emperor. He's going to die anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, I'm, they're brave, they're heroic. You know. So, fours. Yep. <laughs> ah. They've done nothing this game. Uh, no. no, they haven't. No. no, so all that talk about having, what do you say, 18 or something eradicators? Yeah. So... These guys are going to shoot into the alien queen. Yeah. So we've got 
four with plasma, melter guys not in range, ten shots with bolters. Okay, because combi. Combi bolters, rapid firing all the time. It's all minus one anyway, so you may as well fire both profiles. Yeah, this is it. So it's minus one firing both profiles, but it's also minus one shooting through that. So Tom is firing both profiles, because why wouldn't you? So fours. The re rolling all. Let's go through, let's go through. That is such a good ability. It is like old school ball G, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And when you need to kill something, absolutely need to kill it. Why not? Why not? So drop three. Uh, this will be sixes. A re rolling all. Two go through. Another two go through. So that is four minus one because I'm in. Wow. Tactical dot me. Four ups. I fail one, but I do have. Pain. Feel no pain for nomming on a trike. Hey, it's good. It's good. Uh, these here are overcharged. Trike, quad even. It's got an extra wheel, Ross. Come on. Supercharged. Plasma. Yeah. Uh, force. Okay. Uh, re rolling. Cool. All good. Nobody dead. Force. Force. Re rolling. <laughs> Uh, just one. Just uh, one. Minus four. So but in one minute. So. Five up. I'm good. Good. Hmm. Yeah, this intercessor squad's going to pop off at your thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Might Charming. Be. So no minuses to hit me anymore because I'm well away from the mana throw. Uh, yep. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, six, ten. Hitting on the glorious three of the Emperor. No re rolls. Ten minutes out of the way. Uh, the sixes. Uh, one at minus two. Which is nice. Which is nice. Uh, no, I do take a wound. Wah, wah, wah. Down to eight. Alright, let me start scoring some points here. What does he want to do? What's uh, he want to do? This plasma guy's going to shoot that one at the back. Might as well. He's, in. he's worth technically three points because of oath and obviously everything else. Uh, 24, is that in? Uh, I can put you on my base and you tell me. On my base? In my just right now, on like half an inch. So his storm bottles will go into that one then. Cool. So it's fine, it's just But shots. he is definitely miles away from the man on the rope, so he's regular to hit now. Uh, Right, so he's gonna. No, I don't need to supercharge it. Yes, I do, because he's T5. Mm hmm. Uh, so D3 T shots. Eight. Yeah. Yep. Two, so shots. two shots. Yeah. Supercharging. Supercharging. There's no re rolls on this now because Colin's gone. So ones and mortal wounds. Oh, freeze? Yep, freeze. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, one mortal wound. So he's already taken one damage already. So he's. I'm gonna CP it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So both hit, and only sixes. Oh, so I'll get that CP back. Oh, save me. Oh yes. No, no, I need to wound you, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, CP. You yeah, should get, get back. back. Wicked. Should maybe get that five for the wound. Yeah. Uh, so you're wounding on threes now, aren't you? Because you're supercharged. Toughness. Yeah, he's eight. still T8, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's strength eight now. Wicked. So fours. fours. <laughs> and the thought was there. The thought was there. Um, and the bolt is in the same thing. That one, wasn't it? Yeah. God damn. Uh, so threes? threes? Yeah, no minus. No system. twos. Oh, yes, because you. Yes, 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 yes. You're good. All day long. Um, and eights. Uh, sixes. That's <laughs> right. Jeez. Yes. <laughs> numbers, people. It's a numbers game. Uh, same for this guy here. Okay, so uh, you're in range for the plasma, but not in range for the... Yeah, so D3. Yep. Two, two shots, two shots. Threes, this time, not fours. Uh, is it? I thought it was no, twos. No, twos. Yes, yes twos, twos. Twos, twos, twos. Yeah, twos. yeah, yeah it was. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just shout at random numbers, Tom. Oh, no. Seven. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Seventy-one. So uh, fours to wound. Yep. Uh, two wounds. He has yeah. got to be toast, surely, because it's uh, minus... Uh, two. Minus three. Is it? Yeah. It's a heavy weapon, isn't it? Yeah, but it's minus three because it's plasma. And... No! Oh, 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 oh. Serious. Um, um, I'm assuming the storm bow is again back in the back. So no minuses, yeah. hitting on twos. Uh, we'll hit uh, sixes. Damn! Uh, 
just one. Uh, minus one because it's rapid fire. It is. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But well, he won't be good in a minute when he gets a big fist to the face. Uh, these are in range of him. So okay, everything, everything, from him. everything into that poor guy. So poor guy. One, two, three, six shots from the Dudas rapid fire one. Mm -hmm. uh, three. three. Nope. Nope. Fives. Because of strength five. Mm -hmm. uh, nope. Okay, and then the big, big, which will take him out. He's got to go down. This will still be freeze because they're ultramarines and they don't suffer the penalty for moving. Yeah, yeah. So freeze. There's two. Uh, fives. fives. Oh, he lives with one he wound. Lives. Because they're out of range. Yeah. I can't believe he is still alive with one wound. That should not have happened. They're going to shoot your brain, guys. And that is a minus one. Because uh, we're then. Yeah. Is that a cover thing or not? Cause it's not cover, cover, it's just a minus one. Right, so they get two shots each. So eight. Fours. Uh, and fours. Yeah. No. Ah! Crap, wrong. What? What happened this turn? But Tom will make up for it in the charge phase, I am sure. Yeah. Because he can't really fail a 1.5 inch charge. No, I need to roll for it anyway so I can get past stuff. Because there is a speed bump. So these characters in the way. Yeah. And there is some terrain there. Yeah. And I'm blocking some terrain. So who do you want to charge first? I'm going to have to charge with Colm first, don't I? I think so. Purely because... Uh, Colm, Severin off. Severin, yes, Severin. Even I thought that was the wrong guy. Mm. I'm terrible with names. Uh, yeah, so he needs to get shimmy around, really, doesn't he? Mm. Or at least you know you can't fail the charge. <laughs> yep. Fine. It's okay. So you're going to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> so we'll, I'm not overwatching anyway, people, so we'll come back after the charges. So this is what the charge phase looks like. So Tom has not charged over here, funny enough. Over here, I have two dread dots in my face, and I have a master librarian. Not just any other librarian, a master librarian. So who's going first, Tom? Um, the white dread. So I've only got eight wounds. Yeah. Oops, only got eight wounds. Five attacks, hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a one. Two ones. Hit on uh, twos is nice. Freeze the wounds because it's strength 12. <sighs> Insane. Uh, Two at minus. I do have a five up and vulnerable. Three. And I'm going to rely on this five up and vulnerable to keep me alive. <sighs> so, six damage. Then. Six damage will keep me alive. Do I spend a CP for that reroll? I think I will. So I'm down to three, purely because I will not be bracketed. I technically am not bracketed anyway, I know, because of my <laughs> ability. Um, do I. Bother. Ah, I said I was going to do it. Stick to your guns. Yes, I'm good. So I take three damage, you say, each? Yeah. <laughs> one. I basically only need two more to go through, and I am toast. I am going to spend two to interrupt, which is probably a bad, bad move. Leave me one CP. Okay, so feeding the hunger only lasts for a phase, so sadly that's gone. So if I try hitting these guys... Uh, I am hitting on fours, no rerolls. If I spend a CP, then I know I can't shoot my hive guard twice, and I probably will need that. Ah, uh, sod it. CP naked, Tom. That's how you roll, right? <laughs> so there's only four attacks. Hitting on the, the dreadnought that has not attacked me. Yeah, hitting on fours, rerolling. Okay, all hits. Wounding on twos, because technically I am strength 14. I'm going with the claws, as you can probably imagine, not with the mouth, because as much as I want to heal, the claws do the more damage. <sighs> Can't re-roll that. So it's three. Uh, do they have an invulnerable with those guys? Yeah, five up. Five up and well, vulnerable? No, they don't. No, they don't. But they've got a free up save. So what's the minus on that? Uh, so the minus with the shoveling claws three, isn't it? Uh, is minus three. So you get six up save. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, damage. Damage is 
D6. But remember, it's minus one because you're dreading to one, two, three. No, it's D6. It's D6, yeah, exactly. So that's one, technically, yeah, two, so, oh, right, because yeah, it's yeah, reduced three. to three. <laughs> what was that? How many is that total? So one, three. two is three. Yeah, plus three. Six, six. in total. So how many wounds have they got? Uh, eight, he's got seven left. Yeah, so, so it's not going to kill him. So it's not going to kill him. Pain, so six is. I make one, so you send with two. So you've lost five wounds from that. Okay, so my acid blood, when I took the wounds in close combat, any sixes, Tom will take a mortal wound, but only from the thing that attacked me. So no mortal wounds there. I am still alive, and the moment Tom will attack back with a dread. Yeah, so five attacks. Two's. He should be dead. He should be dead. Twos. Uh, yeah. Because they don't degrade. Uh, threes. He's got to be gone. Uh, that's minus three. It's going to be on my inner vulnerable. Should be dead, guys. I should be dead. Yes, I saved only three, but it's three damage a piece, I believe. Yep. He is gone. Let's see if anything happens. Does he blow up? There's a chance. There's a chance. Nope. But yeah, if he's reduced to zero wounds, there's a chance he thrashes around. So this guy, I don't dislike him. He slowed you down. He's done some wounds this game. Mm -hmm. It's a shame I don't get to use the mouth, because the mouth, yes, does less damage, but he's great against units, and he heals himself. So Tom will now re-shimmy with that guy. Wicked. So he's only taking one damage, yep. and he's got two wounds left? Yes. Wicked. Very nice. This is the end of Tom. It's your turn two. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, for the moment, you're still definitely within six inches. Mm -hmm. You get two points there. And you brought it down. Yes, I did. Not only did you bring it down, but you also have got... Uh, oh, for the moment, it's also one point for bringing something large down. Yes. Cool. Okay, Tyranids turn two. Uh, so I have a CP back, so I'm on a whole one CP. Uh, this guy, the Alien Queen has moved up. Now I, I'm very aware that Tom can do that stratagem. I have learnt now, so everybody can shoot. And there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of shots there. But, as long as I make the charge, I'm engaging on all four fronts. And he's gonna have to do something, right? He's gonna have to do something. So he wants to mess them up. Uh, he's moved up here, trying to get some shots into that guy. We'll try. <laughs> uh, well, last time I did Point blank range. Well, it is minus one to hit still, yeah. technically. Uh, did it, did did did. X screen staying still. Everybody staying still over there. Slight shimmy over here. So what I am worried about is these guys. I can probably take out one dread, but I don't think I can take out two. And I need to do at least three of those psychic powers. Dropped in some rippers there just to stop Tom's deep strike shenanigans at the back at least. And one unit over here, nine inches away from these guys. So, shall we do some psychic? Yes. A bit of smite over here would be quite nice. Mm -hmm. And it goes off on a five, six, seven, eight. Would you like to try to deny, sir? Yes. Uh, nope. Okay, so it's a big old. Two mortal wounds. You do have to feel no pain though. Mm -hmm. You need to make both of these or he's toast. I'll make one. Wah, wah, wah. Still alive, still alive. So that means I'm going to try to do the mission specific psychic ritual. And it yeah. does go off. So I've done two of those. Just need to do one more in this game. And okay. to survive. Yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice. So he's only got one wound left, has he? Well, that wasn't supposed to happen, Tom. Right, um, so these guys advanced over here. Uh, did it, did, did, did. No, they didn't. I'm making that up. They didn't advance. No, they didn't. They just moved. So, lies. They hit number threes, thankfully, uh, because of the prime. They're going to put all their shots into that guy. So, number of shots from the, the Venom Cannon. So, one. <laughs> one. It's good. So hits, 
a strength one. It's eight, so it's threes because uh, you have toughness five. It does. Knock the wound on that guy. Yeah, it's two d3 a damage. Uh, so I need a five. Don't get on a four. Big O D3. Three. That's it. So all those other shots are just wasted. Goes into the air. So this guy wants to put everything into there. Tom wants to pop smoke. So yeah, not good, not good. So I'm hitting on sixes now effectively. Uh, six shots, hit on sixes with a good old rupture cannon. Rerolling those ones, if I had any. Two, two. Uh, this is 10 versus seven, seven threes. Only one. AP. Uh, AP three. D six damage. I can't remember what this thing is. Is it three up? I imagine it is. They're pretty good. The old Ven Dreadnoughts. I think I'll have to crack mine out. Six. Oh What's man. Uh, what, whatever it is, it's gone, and all the other shots are wasted. Oh, shit, it's it's a a six. Six. Yeah. Well, it has got feel no pain. So well, you might make it. Uh, I got one. So you made the feel no pain, did you? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Does he put no, he doesn't. Okay, he's gone though, and all the other shots are wasted. I cannot believe he is still alive with one wound all this time. So, normally hitting on fives on the last bracket, Tom Smokescreen is making me hit on sixes. Nicely played. Nicely played. In that case, I will put six shots into these guys. Hitting on threes. Rerunning ones. <coughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Three. Uh, this is seven, so wounding on threes. Okay, so it's two. I do not ignore cover, so it's only minus one effectively then, Tom. So uh, fours. I'll make one. Okay, it's two, two damage, damage piece, so one guy's just one guy. dead. Yeah. And I'll put the other six shots in. Same unit then. Okay, get rid of those twos. And wounding on threes again. Ah, oh, bad. Fours? Yep. Yep, fine. <sighs> Nicely done, Tom. Okay. Nicely done. Um, 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 um. I will shoot with the hive guard, and they're all going to shoot into the same unit. Ugh. Last time it did not go so well, did it? No. What did I do last time? <laughs> they, they saved. I even spent two uh, CP. Yeah, I pop smoke tonight. Uh, what's trans? Trans uh, would one be CP. one CP. What do you want to do? Well, they're wounding they wound on twos, aren't they? They're wounding on twos. Yeah, shit, I'll try and do. So they're wounding on fours now. So hitting on threes, rerunning ones. Because of Kronos. Okay, one fail so far, but wounding on fours, thanks to Tom. And he knows I can't shoot again because I only have one CP. Plus two CP to shoot an infantry unit again. Tyranids. Oh, wow, Tom, that's real good. That's real, real good. So it's one, two. Only two. Minus yes, because you're two. trans. All of them would have been hit. Yeah. Just minus two, is it? It's minus two. Well, minus. Are they? No, they ignore cover. But all of them would have hit. So your transhuman was well played, sir. So it would have been eight more shots would have gone mm. in. So five ups. Yes. Maps. Gonna make one. D three. Is it gonna be enough? You. They're surviving. One damage. Cool. That's not cool. I put a lot of shots into them. They've done well this game. You've got your big burfer. Big burfer. I think I'm going to need to... I think I'm going to put it in the stone guard. So, over here, 12 shots into the stone guard. Minus one. It's 12 shots hitting on fours on the stone guard because obviously shooting through those gantries there. Alright, hit on fours. Uh, I moved so I cannot re-roll ones for Kronos. It's okay, I can live with that. Uh, this is eight for twos. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm gonna re roll one, so I'm spending my CP. Is this a good idea? So, at the moment, four got through. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yep, that's it. I'm CP naked, but five shots. Uh, double check, I think it's minus two. Yeah, so it's minus two, two damage a piece. Fives. 
That's all of them. Ooh. Damn. Squad. That's nice. So my aim oh. was falls. Because of Batman. Ah yes, do they get to shoot again? Have you finished your shooting first? Yes, that's all his shooting, yeah. So any fours, these guys take a pot shot at anyone they want to within range. Uh, Two of them do. Uh, I'm going to put that into him. <laughs> Might as well, because you get rerolls everything. So what do you want? Who so you rapid want? fire in the combi plasma. Okay, so a combi plasma. So two of them. Mm -hmm. Oh no, because I've got a melter, haven't I? It's up to you. What would you prefer? Yeah, I'll do the plasma and melter. Okay, so what's going first? Uh, plasma. Sure. Well, they've got their bolters as well, haven't they? So I'll do that. Oh, supercharge these as well. Might as well. Them. So hitting on threes, re-rolling all. Yes. Damn. <laughs> something, something. I'm uh, eight. Fours. But re-rolling all. Good God. Oh, come on, man. Melter. Melter. This is where it's at. Threes. This is where it's at. Fours. Re-rolling, re-rolling. Fuck my ass. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so five up in vulnerable, people. I failed. How much damage, Tom? Remember D6, the short range as well? D6 plus two, isn't it? It is indeed. Five plus Ooh. two, seven. Seven. So I do have a feeling of pain. Two, four, six, seven. That was good. See, even in death, Marines are good. So I take one, two, three, four, five, six Damn damage, it. Tom. Six damage. Uh, bolt guns now. <coughs> uh, freeze. Nobody rolls me Sixes. Mm-hmm. We are rolled. Uh, one. That minus one. Because it's still in front. I fail. See that? I feel no pain! He's good. I'm good. So I have lost six wounds. So, my rippers try to charge in. They, uh, failed by one inch. So, DMAC. It's going to try to go for the apothecary. Needing a seven. And I've got a seven! So Tom <laughs> forgot his feel no pains for his uh, veterans. Uh, I allowed him to redo it. So not all of them died. So it did make a difference with the shooting. Um, but it kind of didn't because it was only the melter that really did the damage. So I allowed him because we're both gentlemen and we're both friends. Um, so he's still there. So love is off camera. <laughs> love is off camera. So yeah. I should be within an inch of the apothecary, but yeah. without an inch of the captain, yeah. and without an inch of the aggressors. Mm -hmm. Just want to kill the apothecary, and that's the only charges. Because like I said, these guys, these tiny little rippers, have failed. But you know where they are now. You know where they are. Right, D Mac. So D Mac against the apothecary. He's got this. So hitting on threes, re-rolling all. That's two fails. One fail. Then wounding on twos. Strength eight. If I do eat him, I do get to heal a wound back. Okay, so that is. It's minus three, isn't it? Four. Yeah, you gave him six of save. You got this. Only one. Uh, okay. Damage is what? Uh, it's D3 plus three. So he's got feel no pain. Yeah, he's so not going to survive. Are you that. sure? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Oh, so, can he fight back? Because of the banner. Uh, yeah. Go for it. He only has fists. But no, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Um. So I'm on thirteen wounds, which is nice because I ate a guy, and I regenerate. <coughs> it's pretty cool. Thanks to one of the. Um. Words, Ross. Yeah, I keep wanting to say Symbio Storm, but it's not. It's You're obsessed with that Symbio yeah, Storm. I just love it. I love it all day long. It's not that at all. It's adaptive physiology. I went for the accelerated digestion. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to consolidate in because I'm worried about power fists to the face. Uh, it does mean he's dead now, so you guys don't get the reroll stuff against me? No, only from Chapter Master. So you still get the rerolls from the Chapter Master, which yeah. is still good. Still, still good. But it's not the re-rolling wounds. So. This is it. Well, I know Tom's not going to fail a morale, so he at least gets one point for over the moment. Mm -hmm. So you've got the full oh, four I've got points. To take it for this guy, though, I? Yeah, I mean, he could fail. Well, I've got the banner and all that. No, jazz. I don't. He can't because banner auto passes it. There you go. So, yeah, Tom's got the full four points 
uh, in the second turn for over moment. And I've got three points for engaging all fronts because he's just over the line. Yes. Which is pretty nice. And I killed a character. You did. Okay, Tom's turn three. Uh, on your command, Steelf. Yep, he's given the rerolls an extra attack to the aggressors because he has that ability to dish out an attack to characters or. Which court. is nice. Um, Bane of the Damned on the Dreadnought again. Again, again. And that's it. And these guys yeah. have dropped in, so more than nine inches away there. And there, and Ooh. they are nasty. So it's Tom's psychic phase, and he wants to go for the mission specific. Yeah, may as well. So we'll go three. Yep. Yep. So that's yep, yep, yep. So we may be playing this wrong, but at least we're both playing it wrong, if that is the case. We don't think, because it's an action, you can stop actions. Um, I know it's a psychic ritual. I have denies, he has denies, but we haven't played against each other. So please tell us if we're doing it wrong. Put it in the comment section below. Because uh, none of us, uh, none of us, have ever done psychic ritual before. We're not a massive fan of actions, but mm. I know they will be changing soon. So uh, yeah, if you can tell us if you can deny psychic rituals, that would help. But yes, we're playing it at the moment as if we can. So Tom's got two so far. Yep. I have got two. So remember, we need to get three to get that fifteen points. Mm -hmm. Right. So shooting phase. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the heavy intercessors into Big Mama. He's got to be dead. Uh, Got to each for them free. So hitting on your normal profile. Freeze. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, five, five for wounds. That's a bit better. Two at minus two. Oh dear. This is it. Game over, people. Game over. That's it. Enough damage. Cool. And oh, does he blow? Does. It does. It does. I think he thrashes out and attacks the nearest. I'll just double check which is only the hive guard. So in his death throes, he has killed a hive guard. So I, of course I rolled three more wounds for the damage. <coughs> Wonderful. So what's happening next time? Uh, the incarcers are going to shoot you. <gasps> not the rippers. Yeah. Not the tiny, tiny rippers. I'm sorry. No, you know. Rapid fire. Threes. Uh, rubbish. There What's their toughness? It's only three. Is it? It's a freeze the wound. Uh, one out minus one. <sighs> they do not get a save. How many wounds have they got? Three each. Three each. Okay. So one guy is down to two wounds. I'm going to put on the one first away. Does Severin have a massive crack? <laughs> Sorry? Grenade. Oh. <laughs> He's got a bolt pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll chuck a crack into your um So many throats? Yeah. There's minus one to hit because the mana throats nearby. So fours. No. No. That's fine. No. Um Which is the noise the guns make. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interceptors are gonna shoot into the hive guard. Number of shots, but there also are supercharging. Yeah, so seven. individually, how many so shots? First guy has that many. <laughs> <laughs> that many, it's three. Three. So he's got three. Next guy has two. Wonderful. Next guy has um, four. Okay. So, I'm supercharging, so any ones are bad. Threes. <laughs> that's a dead guy. So that's one. So, but so far, he's done two shots. Okay. This guy. He's alive. He's alive. Next guy. I do. Okay, so you lost one guy. Was it worth it? Was their toughness? Uh, right. The toughest five. So three to wound. Uh, drop three. So that's four at minus three. No, <sighs> minus four because it's plasma. Uh, it was minus tactical. four, then I have no saves. Two damage each, so that's okay. one dead, two dead. Okay, one dead, two dead. And I remove a guy. And you've killed one of your own. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So two for one. I'm happy with that. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Dread. Yes. He's dreadful. Yes. He's going to pump everything into. Oh, good God. No. So. Plasma cannon. 
Okay, so number of shots. See you supercharging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number of shots. Two. He's only taken one wound so far. He's pretty. Yeah. He's a pretty good guy. Uh, minus because of your throat. It is indeed. So freeze. Cool. And this would be force. Come on, we roll that. It's minus three, isn't it? Because you yes, are heavy plasma, three. not. And you see, I like the fact that damages. these have a better AP. Than it's those. only because of the tactical. Though. Oh yes, I suppose it is. Yeah, I thought it's because of the primaris, but look at the size of the thing. <laughs> Even if it wasn't, the hell blast has got minus four standard, don't they? Only when you supercharge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I would say the size of that and it's as powerful. It's crazy. It's crazy. Are you going to spend a CP? So it's three damage, do you say? Three damage. And how many wounds has he got? Fourteen. Uh, Thirteen, I think. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother. Just keep it as well. Okay, so just two damage on that guy, yeah? Yeah. Off camera, I did say I'm not even going to bother rolling for the wounds. I just looked and see how many wounds they start with. And uh, Tom goes, no, roll for it. So I did. I got a six. Tom's well chuffed for me, aren't you, Tom? Always. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stormbelt is... Okay. Freeze. Yep. Uh, yes, it is. Freeze, yeah. Uh, it's be six. It's... No. That's okay. Fine. Okay. So then we have the mess that's over here going into that guy. Did Severin crack? He did he crack. crack. He yes, did he crack. Did. Um, these five intercessors into that. So ten yep. shots. Can they all see you? Yeah. How can you miss? It might be minus. <clears throat> I think one guy is good and the rest would be a minus. Right. You can, first guy I can first. see the claws but not near the base. Go. Freeze. Yeah. Sixes. Nope. Okay. These ones fours. Sixes. Bum, 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 bum. Not that. So this is where the real nasty stuff happens, kids. <coughs> I'm starting with the plasma on the uh, sergeant of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, well, you'll fire both profiles, but he's re rolling ones anyways because of. Okay. Chapter so firing both is minus one to hit. Uh, three. That's fine. Uh, the fours. Just normally, yeah, it's hit on fours normally, isn't it? If you fire both profiles. Hot. To one at minus four. So he gets a plus one, does he? To hit. It's what? crazy. Yeah. Wow, Tom and dice people, he, uh, <laughs> he's not reading these dice. So so I need to roll one dice, not two dice to wound, so I need a four. Yep. That's right, yeah? Yes. Which wounds? Because we said it was minus one, <laughs> Tom said yes, he still saw the three and still thought it was a four. He can count, he can count, I Trust swear me. to you, he can. He's not, he's not been eating crayons. I'm a bit of an intellectual sometimes. But... Oh, yes, massively, massively. Okay. <laughs> So, it's a 5 up and vulnerable, which I've made. Of course I have, Tom. After uh, all that. So we're having a great time, though. <laughs> so even if you guys aren't, we are. This is funny. <laughs> uh, bolt guns now. Okay. Fours. Fours. We roll on ones because of chapter master. It's two. And That's this good. Be six, six, seven. Um, uh, eight, uh, nine. Okay. But these guys will not have any minuses to shooting. <clears throat> no. Because they don't have combi guns. Oh, they've got three rolls. Six shots each. Do you have lots and lots of shots? We'll come back after Tom gets a bucket full of dice. Okay, so that's a lot of dice, Tom. So this is for their bolt guns. So mm -hmm. this would be freeze re rolled in all because of chapter nine. Which is nice. Which is nice. Uh, that's a six. I don't so know. Even though the apothecaries died, they still get the chapter master rule, which is still half as good as that apothecary rule. And this will be sixes to win. Mm -hmm. There's no re rolls on this. Nope. I'll make two. Okay. At minus one. Alright. I'm okay, Tom. I'm okay. You'll What's it say? Pleased to know. Three up. Uh, D6 for the frag storms. Uh, seven, eight. Yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> freeze. We should do like a Sesame Street count. Re <laughs> Counting, we're Tom. <laughs> oh, 
Yes. Tom does not have learning difficulties, Bill. I'm not slating him. If he did, <laughs> I would not have a go at him. <laughs> just laughing because he's just having a bad day. Two again, please. Minus one. Only minus one on the crack. Ooh, oh, both went through. I feel no pain. Uh, crack, is it D3 damage? No, it's frag. Oh, it's frag you went for. Oh, yes, frag yeah, storm and all this. That's Oh, yeah, I was thinking the crack would be amazing. Feel no pains! I fail one. So I'm back down to 12 again. But this is where the real pain happens. No, yeah, I've still got him to throw. Does the ancient get a grenade? I would imagine so. Most he marines. get a bolt gun, though. Because he's yeah he, does, he gets a grenade but not a bolt gun. Yep, so he resheaves his sword and throws a grenade. All right, I'll do him separate because he's got two up. So ancient banner man, okay. Sarai Caragon, three. Yes, it's a hit. Uh, fives. Off it's off the table. table. It's five. a five. And that is minus one. I'm okay. I rolled a five. Five. But, Sabius, twos. twos. Yes. Five again. Right to the face. It does. It's a five. Can I roll a five? No, I rolled a six. That's even better. Um, that's it for shooting. But it's going to get messy now, isn't it's it? It's going to get a bit charged. And you know, I cannot interrupt. I have no CPs on. Oh, yeah. So, fists for days from Tom. Do it. I'm not gonna roll. Oh, no, he's in. Everybody is literally 1.1 inches out, so. I need to roll over here. But you do need to roll over here. So who are you gonna go for over here? <coughs> he's gonna make, if you double charge now, you need the full shabazzle, don't you? Shabazzle, yes, you need to declare so everybody. I need a seven to get to everybody. For, for the shabazzle, for I the like shabazzle. that, I'm using that. So he's going to shabazzle his way in on both. Yep, we can't overwatch. They've got no CP, no range tax. Go for it. The melee's lethal, though, isn't it? <laughs> the look I just gave Tom, then, people. <laughs> Seven. And that is a failure. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, I've got command point. I'll reward that. Okay, so Tom's down to one CP. Yes, the same. It's exactly the same. You son of a... Beep. Okay. I can't do that because that is cheating. Go up the mountain and back down again. Sort of, yeah. I'll, I'll declare it anyways, but. You might roll crazy because I can't overwatch anyway, so you might as well. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. Hang on. Oh, 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 they fancy it. You know the, the nine inches yeah. away. Well, there should be, I think. Yeah, no. Oh, and it gets annoying. They make it in and they are. Quite good in close combat, really. Alright. The Marines, after all. Yeah, these guys aren't good in combat, Tom. You know they're not. Oh, uh, yours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I um, can interrupt. So. Oh, that's a good question. Hammer Wrath is good. Now for Hammer Wrath. So he's got two models engaged. His jump packs basically do <coughs> more wounds if he rolls higher than my toughness. Which is four, so anything higher than a four. <laughs> no, no, no. It was worth it. It was worth it. But they're probably going to rip face anyway, I would say. Right, I Where do we well, begin? I might as well start with them. Okay. Uh, three attacks from the sergeant takes it to four. Two to three. Shock a soul. Is it just in shooting for the minus? Yes, yes, so yes, yes, yes. No minuses anymore. Marines. So you're pistol whipping me. Fail, 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 fail. Fours. Fours. Uh, two. Uh, no AP yet. You got freeze anyways. I'm okay so far. I'm okay so far. Over here, what's going to happen? Um, I'm going to go for the... Uh, with my... No. I am... Yes. You know yes? Yes. Maybe. Well, let me get my other attacks ready. Then. Right. Tom is going to start with... The stone guard bet with a power fist. So he'll have four attacks because of his duda. Mm-hmm. Then, if he's still alive, Company Ancient, Company Ancient. Have four attacks with his power sword. Then, Chapter Master. No, uh, I tell lies, it's more than that because of his banner. Yeah, Tom's telling lies again, people. Core. Are Stone Guard core? They're core. They're core? Yeah. They're core. So he gets five attacks. They are hardcore. Right. He doesn't because he's a character, so he's still on four. Sabius gets six attacks. He'll be dead by then, Tom. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'll save the rest because I haven't got enough dice. <laughs> okay. Right. So first veteran, guy, veteran. Balls because it's power fist. Rerolling ones because of saviors. Uh, that is three. Yep. Force the wound. <laughs> okay. You were saying? <laughs> uh, chuck the guy. Banner. Banner. Company Great. ancient. Oh, yeah, all times. Yep, yep, yep. Five, so. Wounds once, minus three. Ooh, that's pretty tasty. So five up, invulnerable. No, how much damage? Just one, it's just normal power. Just much. Feel no pain. I didn't feel any pain, Tom. Never did. <laughs> Right, six attacks with Savius. I'm just keep, uh, keeping it for Savius because I wanted it to look epic. I didn't want to yeah, look too easy. Gonna work. How many wounds has he got? Twelve. Twelve wounds left. Yeah, this time, man. Um, twos. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Fives. No. Because Fours. you get more damage for being it's against... Times two strength against monsters. There you go. He's a monster. Wicked. So fours. Man, I feel really bad for Tom. I really do. I'm not just saying that, that he's had a terrible round of shooting and it's a pretty bad round of combat. Right, so we'll go for aggressors. So four from the thingy. We don't like blaming dice, but I think these uh, White Sky dice may be on eBay. They may well be. So Sergeant's got six attacks now. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to Because they get them. extra attacks because of the banner yeah. and they get to re-roll. They get extra attacks from Savius and they get shock assault, so an extra three attacks on the charge. Yep, yep, yep. And they're re-rolling shit. Um so minus one hit still because of the fists? Yes, but at least he's re-rolling. And these are nasty because they have to do these again, fists. Isn't it? Right, okay. Right, so Sergeant will do first. Mm -hmm. Uh fours re rolling. Some are gonna get through. Some are gonna get through. Okay. Are we doing fours as well? Shall I first? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Uh, four, yeah. That's a bit better. Okay, uh, three. Three, yep, minus three. So, five up in vulnerables. Uh, one, one failed. Two damage. So, five up, feel no pain. I felt one pain. I'm on 11, Tom. Uh, on three, 11. Guys. Do you? No, because it's only a free. Don't worry, editing's your friend. It's <laughs> fine. It's going to take me longer to do it, granted. Cool. Hey, at least they all have. Four. Five. Five invulnerables. Come on down. Right. You know what Luke's going to say about my invulnerables this game, right? Yeah. And it's two damage a piece, isn't it? Yeah. So I failed three. So the first one, feel no pain. Take one, so I'm down to ten. Next one is... Okay. So I'm down to eight. I'm down to eight, Tom. <laughs> I'm down to eight. It shouldn't be down to eight, it should be dead. I'm down to eight. <laughs> You okay with that? No, I'm not. Your saving throws are ridiculous. Absolutely the same as the last game. I mean, I can't hit very well with a hive guard. It's no, I spend two guard turns with hive guards. Time, but even your boss is he's a good little bit My no, saves are uh, amazing. I mean the exo not exo queen, the Tyran effects should have been dead. Yeah, that should have been dead. Should have been well. dead. Should have should have should have been dead. Right, okay, so straight back. Straight back. Ooh. So six attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Your pick. I'm going to do one attack so far on the veteran. Mm -hmm. The others are going to go on the aggressors. So aggressors, baby. Okay, they get to re-roll. I think he only hits on threes. So there we go. And threes to wound. It's not the best. Not the best. So minus three, and only three. Minus three. Yep, yep, yep. That's three damage each. Uh, it's D three plus three. D three plus three. Yeah. So whatever happens, they're dead. Mm -hmm. uh, Sixes. Six. Oh, 
Well, that's two. two. That's so two. One guy dead. One guy's dead. So I get to heal one wound back. Whoops. So I'm up to nine. And uh, one attack on the vet. Get the reroll. Hits. Wounding on twos. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, six up again. No. So he's dead. So I get to heal another one. So I'm back up to ten. And I have a tail, which will go on the aggressors as well. Do not get to re-roll with the tail. What's the strength on the tail? Uh, strength on the tail, I think, is only seven. I don't think he gets the plus one. Mm, so um, minus. Well, I think it's only minus two, to be fair. Mm, minus three, two damage flat. So we'll kill him. Oh. The tail. Oh. Okay, so he takes two damage. So it's not going to kill him, but, but it's okay. It's okay. So at the end of... Uh, if any enemy, enemy models are destroyed as a result, I get a five-up Feel No Pain, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have... Uh, after this model has made close combat attacks, but before it consolidates... Select one enemy model with engagement range, excluding aircraft. That model's player rolls a d6 and adds the strength characteristic. If the result is equal or less than my strength, that model suffers d6 mortal wounds. Nice. So, it sounds like you get to pick. So it says, select one enemy model. Mm -hmm. uh, i got to select, then you got to roll. Yeah. So I'm going to select the aggressors. Mm -hmm. I don't want to bother you because you can kill the, either one of them. I, I don't know, it's d6 damage. Well, you won't kill him unless you roll really well, but that one there, he's only got four wounds. Four wounds? Yeah. yeah. What does he do again? He makes him attack again, doesn't he? So you need to roll that in a minute. Oh, she. Mm. You need to do that in a second. Uh, I'll do it on the aggressor unit. Yeah. On the aggressor unit. So, so I roll. A d6. And add that to your strength characteristic. Yep. <laughs> five. <laughs> okay, so five. Uh, so it's less than. So you do suffer d6 on that unit. You roll that. Right? So yeah, I don't matter because one. It's on the unit, ones, though. Yeah. So it is a big old four. So, so wipes them both. Both, but all three of them will get to roll because of the banner. And the doodah guy. Yep. So those three guys first. Wars, one. Okay. And then stone guard. Okay, so yeah. So when they get to fight again, uh, we're pretty sure they do not get shock assault once again. That's a rule that we would like to be clarified. So mm -hmm. if we're doing this wrong, please tell us. I'm not trying to diddle Tom. It was Tom's idea, and I agree with him. Right. So the sergeant from that guy. Yep. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I can roll them all at the same time, can't I? Because it's no, because I've got re rolls on the aggressors. Yes, re rolls on the aggressors. So hitting on fours. <coughs> these are power fists. Re roll in. And wounding on fours. Yes. Uh, two. <sighs> this could be like Tom's thing, because earlier on when a guy died with a melter, he did like seven wounds. Uh, one fails, so two yeah, damage. Two, yeah. Feel no pain. <laughs> I'm okay. Sorry, Tom. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> uh, veteran. Uh, Reroll the one. Uh, one. one so far, four up. Uh, it's power first. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I'm doing really, really well. I can hear Luke now screaming at the channel. It's not like I've got two sets of red dice, one for saves, one for hitting. Right, okay, so that's the end. Oh no, I've still got stuff over here, haven't I? Yeah, you need to fight back. I need to fight back with my tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny little scrabbly little hands. So hitting on fours, Tom. Okay, <laughs> wounding on fives, Tom. Well, there's one. One, no AP. Uh, three up. Yeah, of course he takes. No, a, what a the? Room. Come on, man! Come on! So Mally, the Malanthrope, has four attacks, hitting on fours because I'm not really built for combat. That's about right. <laughs> uh, wounding on fours because it's strength five and you were toughness five. I do get to re-roll, and oh, it doesn't matter. So it's only one, at minus one, two damage. <laughs> so does that actually kill one? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Three wounds each, aren't they? And he took a wound, so. Right, so shuffle, 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 shuffle. 
And then it goes with Enhanced Toxic Miasma. At the end of the fight phase, roll a d6 for each enemy unit engagement range on a 4-up who suffer d3 mortal wounds. Oh, fuck. D3 Mortal Wounds coming up. It's going to be a 1, Tom. Anything that's D3 is going to be a 1. <laughs> there you go. Suffer 1 Mortal Wound. Two left. And I have Prey Adaption, which means if an enemy model is destroyed within 3. So I thought it was a unit, but apparently it's a model. At the end of that phase, this model gains the following ability, Prey Adaption. So it's an aura. While friendly high fleet units within six of this model, each time a model in that unit makes an attack, re-roll wound rolls of one. So from now on, if he's, he's if a lieutenant. anybody's within six <laughs> of him, he's now promoted. He's a lieutenant. I like that rule. It's fun. It's probably not going to happen much in the game, but that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. But and Tom does know that if I do a psychic test, I can only target him. That's pretty good. Keeps that guy alive a bit longer. But the end of turn, uh, Tom's turn three, uh, he moves away from six inches from the centre, I think. Do you want to double check that for over a moment? Yeah, I think I do. Let's double check that. <coughs> Where the centre? About there. Double, double check off camera if you like. So Tyranids, turn three, I get 10 points at the beginning for two objectives. Both me and Tom are on two, so I don't score more then. Uh, shimmied up with the Rippers, um, not doing a lot, so they've just advanced. Hive Guard, Exit Queen, Stain Still. Uh, Stain Still over here. Bit of a re-shimmy over here. I've kept him still, so yes, he's minus one to shoot through. Um, but... At least I uh, I get the rerolls of one if he keeps still. So I'm going for the shooting rather than close combat with that guy. The prime moved up a little bit there, so all of those guys are just within 24 of shooting the dread. Psychic phase. I am going to put a good old fashioned smite into that guy. Interceptor. I've got to. It's nice. the nearest visible, sadly. So nicely played on. Nice speed bump. I uh, get a reroll ones. Thank the Lord. Uh, well, it's only a massive five, so only the six. So you, yes, but remember, it's minus one. But you're psychic hood as well, so yeah. <laughs> oh god, I thought you had it. Do I roll two? The big O two is what I need to kill him. It's two. It's enough to kill him. He's gone. He's toast. All right, and then I'm going to try my psychic ritual. If I make this with my character, then. Uh, I'll get plus one, thankfully, because of Resonance Bar. Um, so it's five, but you only need three to do the mission. So it is 15 points at the end of the game. So I'm going with the Prime first, shooting into the Dread, shooting through the terrain, so it's minus the hit. <coughs> we all hit. <laughs> uh, wounding on fires. One wound at minus one, sir. A big old one damage, that's right. Four. <laughs> one damage, so he's... Uh, six up. Oh yeah, feel no pain. <laughs> uh, and then the warrior unit, so the two spitters going first. Uh, remember they're hitting on fours because of the terrain. Intervening terrain. Wounding on fives. Hey, two sixes, Tom. So two at minus one. Oh, he's changing dice, he's changed dice. Uh, so these are custodies dice, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that, look! The Emperor protects! I don't even know what that is, but I'm assuming that's a six. six because the one is actually the skull. And one skull. Skulls are bad, people. Skulls are bad. Right, okay, and then I'm going to go with the Venom Cannon. Number of shots. One again. It's a miss. It's a miss. Alright, so then Barbie. Let's take a shot. So 12 shots. Uh, hitting on fours, pushing through terrain. So, handful of dice, all into the red. Remember, any of these that go through is only one it's damage. It's hitting on fours now because of the terrain, but it's normally hitting on threes. Uh, what I have just forgot though is num um, you can re roll hits of one if you're keeping still. The Nids, uh, uh, Kronos even. So, one stuck to my hand, weirdly. 
don't ask. Rerolling the ones. That is a nice bunch of nothing there. And wounding on threes, but remember the two damage gets dropped down to one. Duty Eternal was good, people. Duty Eternal was good. So that is five. Mm -hmm. Minus two, sir. Nice. Uh, so, but only five damage because of Duty Eternal. Sixes. Feel no pain? Uh, felt four. Four. So what does that leave you with now? So this is two. Looks like up to six. So I'm going to try with a Hive Guard, shooting into the Dread. Ugh. So four shots. Okay. Wounding on threes. That's two. Two at minus two, sir. Fives. There's D3 in there. Mm-hmm. And no. Okay. Well, that makes a difference, is that? Oh yeah, whatever it is. I mean, you can make the film no pain to be fair, mate. Oh, yeah, of course I can. Uh, well, actually, it's minus one damage, so technically it's only two damage in a way, because it's D3, yeah. and you're a dread. So, two film no pains and you're fine. Make one. There you go, Tom. See, it was worth it. You're still alive, mate. Oh, they've got seven wounds. Have they got eight wounds? Eight wounds. There you go, still alive. See, you knock it, but it's good. This is one left. Film no pains are good, because it's D3 damage, so even if I roll a two, Tom, it's still one damage, isn't it? Mm. Alright, so first six shots from the Exocrine into the Dread. So really that should be like Eradicators. Eradicators, it just says gets to shoot twice. Yeah, Eradicators is that, but it's only if you select the same target, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, wounding on fours. What? Because I'm only seven and you are seven. Oh, okay. As much as I want that to be a six, I'm pretty sure it's a cock dice. Still good. How many? Uh, so that's five. AP two. And only one damage each because five. you're a dread. I fail two. No, pass two. Sorry, I fail three. So three feel no pains. Uh, let's see. That's cool. Okay, uh, does he blow? And then the other six I'm going to put into your character there. I thought you might. <laughs> giving it a go, giving it a go. It's worth 15 points if I can kill him. Uh, Rerunning the ones. Okay. And wounding on threes. Oh dear. Two. Two, minus two. Uh, four up in one. Gotta make one. Two damage. Two. Two damage. Still with us. Does mean I don't have enough CP, obviously, to shoot with a hive guard or anything again. That's nice. Mm, you say that. You say that. <laughs> so I'm going to make some charges. Yes. So nits, charge turn, rippers. Yeah, rippers in combat, Tom. Mm. Feel the love. Oh, -hoo -hoo. Well. They're in all day long. Uh, I am going to go for Mally. Mm -hmm. It's going to fancy his chances. And he's also in. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do, because you get bonuses against Psychos, don't you? Yes. So I'm going to leave my Psychos out of combat, I think. Is he a Psycho? He's not a Psycho. He's not a Psycho. He looks like he should be, yeah, but he's not. That's right, people. OP Rippers are coming in. So we have Rippers here. Four attacks each. Hitting on fives. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Six is doing mortal wounds. <laughs> so that's two that made it through, Tom. That's um, pretty bad. Five's and five's the wound. Not a single one. Not a single one. Uh, and it's a shame because, I mean, I'm contesting because we're both obsec, mm -hmm. so it means you don't score. But um, if you kill one, yes. then you will be scoring. Over here, Manny the Manthrope. Four attacks, hit on fours. Okay. Uh, wounding on threes because I'm straight five. And I get to re roll the wound rolls. So that's two. Minus one. Uh, minus one, two damage. So he gets, he has a two up save normally. So three up. Two damage. Two damage each. So. One will kill him. Yeah. 
Ha, ah, you son of a gun. <laughs> Just pip him no, to the face. No, freeze. It's minus one. Yeah, freeze. He's, He's got two up saves, saves. doesn't he? <gasps> He's got a two up save. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm happy with that. And... Uh, you get to pick over there, don't you? Well, actually... Do I hit back first with the charges, or is it... Well, it's it's, it's all the non-charging things first, and you get to pick one, don't you? So I'm assuming you would take that. Yeah. You don't have to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so no one's charging, so you only get five attacks. No shock assault. Two. Although it is third turn, though, isn't it? What did you pick? It is third turn. I'll pick tactical at the start. So oh, okay. Um, Force. Uh, one, minus three. Okay, so five up. Nope. Uh, D3 damage. Ooh. For three. Strong. Strong. Next one, five. Nope. Oh my god! Fail all Ross three. Ross failed a saving throw, oh it's my god. It's at a seven. It's not on, Tom. You're going to kill him now, Rob. It's not on. Uh, well, I'm going to attack the other guy, I guess. Hmm. You must just split your attacks over. Yeah, I'm going to put three on each, and then the tail into... Because I can declare first. Mm. Tail into your chapter master. Oh, thanks. So, chapter master first. All hits. Mm-hmm. One fail. I've got one CP left. I'm going to do it. I'm CP naked. That's it. It's three gone through. Minus three. Four ups. Mm, two. What is it? So it's D3 plus three each. Yeah, he's dead anyway because he only's got six wounds. Healed one, and then the other dude, like oh. I said, the tail was wasted Bad then. Guy. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Do you need to finish yours first? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Would that still count, though, because if you kill the banner guy? In the same sequence of attacks. Uh, it's when he dies, so I think you get to go first, don't you? It's not at the end of the fight phase, is it? Does it say the end of the fight phase? Yeah, it's at the end of the phase. Oh, at the end of the phase, then. No, not just for a minute. So that's three saves you need to make on that guy. Minus three. Um, Does he have an vulnerable? No, no, so it's just sixes. Okay. Uh, no, so he's dead. Yep. So I hear when no one so fight what fight again nine. doesn't work for himself. <laughs> Yes. He does. Five attacks. It's almost like I don't want to kill him. Really. Two. Probably should attack the banner guy first, really, shouldn't I? Yeah. Thinking about it. That's my own mistake, guys. Fours. Live and learn. No, okay. Right. So the Rippers, I'm going to get annihilated. So Tom needs to kill one, or else I'm contesting, he's contesting. I've never actually used incursors in combat. Everybody's so. contesting. They've got knives and stuff, surely. Yeah, they, they actually have a minus. Okay. So freeze. Uh, freeze again. Uh, two. two. Minus one. Oh, I get no save then. So it's just two, two damage. damage. So I'm still alive. One guy's got one wound left. So we're both contesting. So no one's scoring that one. Seven off. He's. I ain't seen a scrap. So he's got four attacks because he was charged. Mm-hmm. Uh, freeze. Okay. This is strong six. Yeah, because it's plus two. Cool. Um, so yeah, um, freeze the wound. Freeze the wound. Uh, two at minus two. So yes, uh, no invulnerable save or anything. He's only got a five up save normally, so can't save it. So I'm down to three damage because He's actually got nine wounds, which is nuts. Ooh. So at the end of the fight phase, uh, that's right, you guessed it. Um, I might accidentally do some toxic stuff to you. So on a four, was it? Yep. It does two mortal wounds. Oh, no. That guy. So the enhanced toxic miasma has actually worked again. So on a four up, is D6 Mortal Wounds. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So that stopped Tom from doing his psychic in his turn. 
so it is the end of turn three. What have we scored, kiddos? So I'm engaging on all the fronts again. Mm -hmm. Bing, 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 bing. And I killed three characters, which is pretty nice. So that's assassinate. And I've done my psychic thing as well, so it should be 15 points at the end of the game. So Tom was um, beat me by four, but I've overtaken him now with some psychic rituals going on. And it's going to be hard for Tom to claw this back. So it is uh, turn four, mm -hmm. and we're contesting over here. So Tom only scores five points over there. Okay, what can we do after Tom's movement phase? Okay, so Tom fell back here because he's ultramarines, which means he can still um, shoot and charge. I believe, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, or else the Rippers would have gone first. And remember, they only need to pink off one wound. Hopefully it's got that objective. So that was a good play for Tom. Good old Ultramarines. These guys are shimmied back a little. I'm going to uh, spend the CP on them as well. Okay. For fall back and re-engage. So it allows me to shoot without penalty. That's on the encounters. On those guys? So yeah. They don't have the penalty to shoot and they can charge again as well. Should be able to gun those guys down pretty well. So, what do you want to do in the shooting phase? Um, I'm going to shoot that thing, I think. Cool. With these. Yep, it's minus one to hit. Yeah. It is. But he is worth one point. Uh, they haven't moved, so they got double their shots. Mm -hmm. So, six shots. Yeah. And what top are you in now? Uh, assault. You've got no choice. We're 10 4 now, aren't we? So. Cool, yeah. That's the change. Uh, four. Yes. What's his toughness? A four. Five. So it's fours. Fours. Uh, one. Uh, minus one. Okay, so six up save. Nope. Just one damage. One damage. Uh, and two. Pause. It's a two down a dice. Okay. Uh, these guys. Six shots. And they're just gonna yeah. erase the rippers. Shoot. Sure. So freeze. Not that roll in there, not. Uh, freeze. Just one. No AP on that. So we're out of tactical. <gasps> one dead ripper. Dun dun dun. And then it's just these guys left. Two, four. So, a bit of a rock and a hard place. I mean, Tom could have got a bit closer, lobbed a grenade and charged as well as shot. Uh, but then he wouldn't have been on the objective. So, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Freeze. Rubbish. Sixes. <laughs> Nada. Nada. Uh, charge then. Season Definitely. Time. Overwatch? No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, you can't make it. Uh, you can't fail it. Yeah, so you can't okay. make it. Uh, those guys, they're not going to charge? Mm. Them. No. Oh, okay. So you should wipe them out. <coughs> they won't get a save. They won't get a save. Yeah, that's right. Okay. They're on minus two anyway, so yeah. Um, Sergeant Paul, three each from the others. Okay, shock assault. Freeze. Not too bad. They will have no saves. Yeah. And we're going three. Three. So one. How many wounds have they got each? They got uh, three wounds apiece. So there's two. There you go. What? No save. One guy left on one wound. But you have got the objective. Because of obsec. And all that good stuff. I will attack back. My four attacks. Hitting on fives. Yeah, be afraid, Tom. And wounding on fives. It's a wound from a ripper. Uh, no AP, obviously. How many was that, sorry? Just one. No AP. No AP. Three. Yeah, it's good. Dun dun dun. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, so... Nowhere near the centre for Oath. 
Yep. Uh, you've maxed out oath anyway, mm-hmm. so I don't know what I'm talking about. You want to take down some big gribblies, really, don't you? Is what you want. Can't do the psychic. Okay. So Tyranids, turn four. So, uh, these guys moved up, mm-hmm. they tried to advance, this guy's just walked casually up into the front lines. Uh, these guys have advanced, they got enough to see the heavies, but it's obviously minus one because they're assault weapons. The prime did not get enough. So psychic phase for Tyranids. <coughs> Uh, I'm going to do smite with these guys first. Onto them, have to, get the nearest unit. Yeah. It goes off. And it's a big old one mortal wound, which kills a guy. Um, Simbo Storm. For once, I can use it. Going into the Exocreme. Plus one for the result. Goes off. Goes off. So any fives and sixes, because he gets plus one to hit, is an additional shot. And he's going to use Smite as well. Nearest unit, obviously, these guys. Whoa, could have been a Perils. <laughs> but it's a Super Smite, so yeah. six mortal wounds on that unit. That's a big deal. Okay, shooting phase. Uh, put the six shots from the Warriors. Uh, can't see them anymore, I would say. That one guy with the cannon see him? Mm-hmm. I'd say the one on the right hand side, you probably see him. Just, Just the cannon guy, so number of shots. One, again. Hitting on fours now. Uh, wounding on threes. Mm-hmm. Minus two from the Venom That's cannon. Four cover, so yep, yep, yep. Four. Yep. He's good! Right, uh, so Hive Guard. Uh, gonna try to shoot these guys. So only four shots from the high guard. Rerunning the ones. Just kept stationary with Kronos. Wounding on twos. That's three at minus two. They can all recover. Make one. So. Uh, uh, one's on one wound. One's gonna kill one, and the other one does big old two, two damage. Kills another one. Okay, Exocrine will try popping all his shots. Oh, six shots anyway into them. So remember, fives explode. Additional shots. Nice. One failed, but I get three additionals. Uh, because his toughness five, he's wounding on threes. Wah, wah, wah. It's four. That's minus one effectively because you're in cover. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. And the other six shots are going to go into the other guy who's solo over there. Fail with two and then gain three. It's fives and sixes are mm-hmm. additional hits. That's why I like Simbo Storm. That is so, so good. It's possibly a bit broken. I think they forgot about the fact that the Exocrine gets plus one to hit. Because extra shots on sixes is just really, really good. So that is six, seven shots at minus one effectively because you're in cover. Two damage apiece. So he is gone. Okay, so he's made the charge phase. I'm going to charge over here. It's six, uh, eight. So definitely in. And that guy's a bit nasty. I think Tom just said he went up in points, or will be predicted going up yeah, in points. Yeah, he's gone up like twenty-five points. Or I still think it's really good. I think it, if it was three hundred points, it'd still be worth it. Uh, so all the attacks obviously going in here. Mm-hmm. So the blender re-roll. re-roll. So that is five. And wounding on twos. Great against infantry, this guy is. Okay, so that's four at minus three. Make one, so three are dead. So I go up three wounds, so I'm back to 12. Which is pretty cool. 
and then I'm going to use my tail wherever the 12 is on the dice, I'll get that in a minute uh, misses Ooh. Let's see, spinning. you get to attack back and then there's the Three. hole then we get Free standard for the sergeant, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Or free. Yeah. Uh, the sergeant probably has a chainsaw for free, is not he? Yeah, he does. Because why wouldn't you, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, four. so the sergeant would have AP as well. So they roll the sergeant separate. Please. Sixes. No. Yeah, sixes and ladder. Damn. No. Okay. So at the end of the fight phase, before we do morale, the thorax maul takes effect. So Tom has to roll d6, and he has to exceed my toughness, I believe. The top of my own, yeah. <coughs> um, so yeah, it's d6, mortal wounds, equal or less than my strength. Four plus my own is eight. Which so is you're four, okay, yeah. you're okay. Oh no, it's only strength eight on his weapon. He's himself is seven. So oh, you're yeah. fine. You're okay. So at the end of my turn, I am on all the corners again. So, uh after battle report. What do you think? Yeah, it's a good game. It's a very good game. Uh, up until we we took it to four turns, yeah, because it was pretty obvious there was only two guys left on Tom's team. Mm. Um, but at the end of turn three, you were four points up. Yeah, and it, I think the the deciding factor was me killing your librarian. Yep, because oh. that made me lose out on the fifteen points. I, th I think me personally, I don't know about you, I wouldn't pick psychic ritual ever again. No. No. Because it really it has to be... I wouldn't pick actions full stop because it's... I, I, I don't like it. Um, I know that you can pay CP on strats to bypass the action stuff, but it's still shit. Yeah, I mean, it limits your... Because it's got to be a character psycho, it can't just be any other yeah. psycho. Um, so I didn't use any of my cool stuff at all because mm. I've got Resonance Bar, uh, I've got Symbol Storm, which I did get to use in the last gaming turn. But it's not too bad if you got more because nids you got a lot. Of if you're a thousand psycho, sums, yeah. take it oh, yeah, because you've probably yeah. got three, four, five different yeah. character so cycles. You can afford to do that, can't you? It's, um, it's not a problem. But we only have one character cycle each. Yeah, I know nids got can have quite a few, but the three characters I had, only one of them was a psycho. But with nids. Your character, the characters that have it, you don't want them sitting except for your neurofer guy. Yeah, he's got three of them vulnerable. You, you don't want the other character models sat there because you've got your brood lord who wants to be up front. Yeah, your hive tyrant who wants to be up front. Yeah, swarm yeah. lord. Does he have psychic swarm lord? It's a good question. Never used a swarm lord, so well, if he does, you he, want him he, yeah, him. definitely. So definitely. you don't want him unless you want him controlling the mid board, which uh, isn't too bad. I do it? use the Terragon quite a bit. And that obviously wants to be up the board as well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it massively limits. Um, if you've got the army for it, then yeah, fair enough. But yeah, yeah. What we had today it just didn't fit. We should have read it properly, I think. Yeah. Because that was a mistake on our part, not the rule side of it. It was just us. If you could do an action and still do the other psychic, mm. because it's not like you're shooting. No. It, it's a natural ability. It's they in have, a psychic isn't it? phase, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah. So I think if they allow that, that would be at least one thing. Yeah. Um, and then you can tailor towards it. And we didn't tailor towards it. We just kind of thought about it afterwards. <laughs> I know some <laughs> yeah. people out there make a list to tailor towards. And some people probably saw my list and thought, well, that's the opposite. I'm tailoring against yeah. points because I'm giving you three points effectively. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I did try a few new big bugs. Hmm. And I like them. They worked out pretty well, to be fair. I honestly think the only reason I've done so well was massively janky saves, not hits, but saves. That was, I've never known anyone like this. I It's the same dice I use for hitting, and I generally am at hitting, but amazing at five up saves. Yeah, because you're the same when you play with your Blood Angels. Mephiston, he's always around because you always make your five up saves. It annoys me. Apart from the one game. The one game, though. 
I rolled five ones, re-rolled the one yeah. to get five yeah. ones, then did the further pain and rolled under five. So only one game, so I can't complain out of all the years I've been playing him. Uh, and the only time I ever supercharged his pistol, that one time, killed him outright, so I don't do it again. <laughs> I'm sure it's not going to happen again. But it was a real fun game. I, I do feel sorry for you. Your turn two. What was with the dice, man? Your eradicators did nothing. Oh, they were... I'll stick by them, but... They are today, great. They On did, did paper, nothing. they should have destroyed that thing. Yeah, I'm not going to write them off the list, because they are usually really good, but today they did nothing. Rather than man of the match, I would say weapon of the match, hunter killer missiles. Oh, they're beasts. You get one, and it's gone, yeah. and you fired all three at once, and that's it. It's yeah, there's no rules to say that you can't, so... Yeah, yeah. Do it. Yeah. But once it's a once per game thing. Yeah. But once they've gone, they're and gone, you got three so. ammo, yeah. so you spent all three, and he did ten damage. He still survived. Oh. He still survived, but I don't think you can get better than ten damage, really. No, no that's on, that's reliably. Hundred killing really missiles, yeah. generally, they're yeah. gone. Yeah, usually. Uh, and in your close combat, they with those power fists. I think one, two damage got through. Again, that was down to your save, sir. Yeah. It, it was insane. It was insane. Um, you remembered your rippers this time. You did better than me. I forgot mine. Luckily, they didn't die, but... Yeah, but to be fair, where you wanted to put them, you couldn't... No. After we measured no. anyway, going, what What if... I think remember? they did their job when they came on. They sort of said, well, they took about a few of your hive guard out. Yeah, yeah. But if I didn't ping off that last wound off the... I can't remember where I used to shoot them now, but you... I think that was the heavies, wasn't the heavies took yeah. out the uh, Tyrann FX? Yeah, if I didn't have, if they didn't do it, that's Which what the plasmas were for, just to get he rid He went of death throes when he died, he spazzed yeah, out. Yeah, that was good. Killed another hive guard for you. Mm. Um, that's pretty cool. You've got to have a couple of explosions during the game. I mean, when... Uh, oh, Colin, when he blew up, that yeah. was... That sucked. Did three wounds to myself, one wound to each of your dreadnoughts. And two to Loth. And then one to your heavies as well, wasn't it? So, yeah. You've got to have a couple of explosions. Makes it more entertaining, doesn't it? Definitely. Um, four Pillars is a good old classic. Uh, I love Four Pillars. We do love Four Pillars. Yeah. If there's more than four objectives, it can get quite messy. Mm. Uh, but sometimes the Four Pillars is a bit... One arm is one side, one arm is the other side. There's you no combat in the middle. Sit, yeah, because of the way the objectives are set, you are... Yeah. You it. have great deployment, though. When you rolled... Uh, oh, yeah, I, I liked that really well, though. Yeah. That was great. Obviously, random terrain, random mission. Obviously, guest always rose. Well, when I picked the side, we didn't hadn't actually put the objectives down, so I didn't know where we they were. We knew where they were, because we yeah. played four pillars, but we didn't physically put them down. We're about it's to. It's hard to see where it is, though, isn't it, in your yeah. mind. And, yeah, it, it worked out quite well. It did. It did. Not. In the end, it didn't pay off, but... What I mean, is it in in cursors? Was it in cursors? In cursors, yeah. they did hold it. They were there. Game. I was probably most like VIPs, aren't they? Like Definitely VIPs, even. Um, I mean, I took two lots of hive guards, shoot them in one turn, and mm -hmm. they did two wins. Yeah. And another turn, I tried and whiffed, but strats are good. The smoke grenade, mm. wicked. I completely forgot human. that they had that. It's, it's not a shock because they should have it because that's the sort of <coughs> things that they are fluff wise, right. but it, it does help. And in the last game you played with them, they were great because they were ignoring terrain. You know, I had camo cloaks. Yeah. So oh, yeah, and you're eliminated. Yeah. It just ignores that two up save that they have. Yeah. Really good. So they would have had three up save, but they were having fours because obviously mm -hmm. in your so um, in your rapid fire turn and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, which is great. I think. They're good. They're not massively expensive. No, 105 points. They're, they're right in combat as well. They don't get the extra attack that chainsaws give you. But they still have the AP. They still got the AP. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button if you haven't done already. And please subscribe for more hot content.